Ah, shit, there he is. There's the man himself. You again? Well, it's Mystery Labyrinth what time. What are you, anyway? Were you born just to get in my way? Or yes. Uh, was this all faded from the very beginning? No. Fate is just an excuse for defeatists. All right, fine. You're not just some shit in my path. You're an obstacle in the way of my ideals. A piece of trash. Trash must be dealt with properly before you rot and start to stink. <gasps> Man. What's your name? Yuma Coco Head. <laughs> Seth freaking Rollins. What? <laughs> oh, whoa. 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 <laughs> I see. I'll make a path through Kanai Ward's sea <laughs> your name. <laughs> of course, be named after your bones once they're dumped there. Hey! Uh, capture these criminals. Coco Head Execute them on the You make Coco Head's bones? You'll execute them on the spot, so what, you'll execute us now. I thought you yeah, didn't touch me. And of course, it's all to okay, but it's gonna be the same situation as last time, where we finish it, but it's not gonna fucking fix anything, unless... And we still don't know who the guy even is. Like, even if we no, identify but... him as Fink, who is that? Well, hold on. What what if it's something dumb like it's Yomi and then Yomi drops dead so we don't have to deal with him? Something I mean, it stupid. could be. Like just some, something utterly dumb like that, and then we're like, like, okay, it, we're it, there's definitely a layer beneath this, right? Like there's a layer b farther than Yomi. There's something past him. Vivio's like, God, what the? Uh, fuck? Oh fuck! <laughs> what the fuck? Who is this bit? Who is this Iron Mouse looking bitch with her titties jiggling around? Jesus, I'm going to sleep. I don't want to have to deal with this. I don't like VTubers. <laughs> she looks loud and obnoxious. I'm going to sleep. There's a well, you're correct, sir. <laughs> Your intuition is great. I see. <laughs> you're quick on the uptake, huh? So this is your true power. Kick him over, see what happens. Yuma. I knew you were dangerous. No matter what you say, it's already way too late. <laughs> Bicycle kick! That was a good one. <laughs> oh my mm. god. If I land on my head, will I die? Alright. I'm really curious about this, actually. Yeah. So, I was gonna say, you're nearly at two and a half hours. You'd need it recently. Oh, fuck! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll do that in a second. Yeah. And also, I was gonna say, we uh, probably should end, but I literally just got a message. Uh, Monday, I was gonna go to training, but Monday's got COVID, so we're not doing training. Um, All right! Fuck so, yeah. yeah. We may as well just finish this chapter. <laughs> yeah, shit. That's what I like to hear. I'm, I'm really curious about this, actually. I wonder how this is gonna end. Yeah, so let's just fucking do it. All right, I'm uh, once the next line comes up, I'm gonna fucking. This place sure looks epic. Again with the Yuma. falling. Why can't it ever be I'm gentle? going in. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't it be so gentle? <laughs> He's like, Yuma, this place looks epic. I'm going in. I mean, uh, that's it. <laughs> I like it here. <laughs> Can I stay here until I die? Hell yeah. Can I become one of those skulls on the wall? Please. Rules. All right. Oh, Vivia. Here we go. Um... This is called the Mystery Labyrinth. Oh, cool. So, this place is a physical manifestation <laughs> of mystery. This guy's good. Case. You can tell? Well, anyway, 
This actually isn't my forte. It Due to the power of death. Her. Huh? So you really could see me this whole time? He could? It's due to my spiritual affinity. Oh Ever shit! Since I was young. I've been able yeah, he to he could. Otherworldly things. My forte. I wonder if you remember what happens then. Talent. Maybe. Though, I wasn't That'd be interesting. able to see her clearly like this before. I could tell you were talking to some haze following you around, but that was it. Until one day, I used my spectral projection at the agency. And saw that death there you go. clear as crystal. I just nice. decided to ignore her because she's obnoxious as hell. After that, I did some research. I discovered that the WDO underground book vault held something called the Book of Death. Hey, yo. Well, she's sure is helpful, Lore. <laughs> and also, that someone had taken it. Did yeah. It before I lost my memories? I don't know. Potentially. Since you're a rookie. I doubt you'd have access to the book vault. Only a handful of people. Unless number know, one fucking helped us get it. He just let us in there. Just a handful? Anyway, you've been using this ability to solve the other cases up till now, haven't you? I yeah. So, very perceptive. This is also related to the mysterious deaths of all those culprits? My guess is. That's right. Clearing a labyrinth. A materialization of a mystery. Jesus Christ, he is on it. To die. If that's the case, you've killed a lot of people with your own hands, Yuma. Well, I didn't really kill anyone. It's just what happens when... Nope. I may be the one reaping their souls, but the blood is still on your hands. Well, hey! Yeah. No point in pretending to be a goody two-shoes. You're risking your life to solve these mysteries. I see. So you're determined to do this, huh? Sorry, but... You can say that. I don't think I have that kind of conviction myself. So... Man, think this tile floor here, sure is nice. You go and risk your life. You can sleep if you want, but you won't be able to get out. Hmm. Is that so? Sweet, I'll finally be if dead. With Master, when and if he solves the labyrinth, this place will collapse around you. Well, if you don't have any regrets in the real world, you're free to die here. Hmm. Regrets. Finally. Finally. I don't have any of those. Mm -hmm. There are Thank still God. some things I've left unfinished. Like the Protector, Volume 2. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for so long. Where is it? <laughs> That Special motherfucker. <laughs> I have to see the <laughs> ending. That motherfucker has dropped I forgot dropped the author's yet. name, but that motherfucker. What do you mean by that? He hasn't dropped a new book. He just makes shit content on the internet down. instead of writing his I'll book. <laughs> that fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> well, master, let's do the usual. Uh, sure. Oh, okay. Bro, that's Just hot. Do. Are you ready to He's just like so fucking done like yeah, okay, yeah. Well, fine, do it. I am. Act all erotic and shit, I don't care, I'm not gonna do anything. Yo, can I feel up those titties or no? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna guess do I'll this die. <laughs> 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 guess guess I'll finally just <laughs> drop dead now. <laughs> We gotta do this stupid dance in order to just whip a sword out your mouth. Yeah. Did she moan a little? Yeah, I think she did. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a giant mouth, like hand going in her mouth, bro. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. What? What? What can you expect? That was now I'm cool as fuck. Overly, that was overly erotic. Why did you do that? Pretty dangerous. She has to follow it off with just throwing up. <laughs> like, is that key something like a clue for the case? Wow. Looks like you're ready to go. 
Could you be more of a downer? I got my pockets stuffed full of you. keys and a big old sword. And I'm not talking about my penis. Okay. Uh real I can't do this. Uh I have to piss first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> be like that. Really do be like that though. Man. I brushed my nose on the microphone. All right. <sighs> All right, mystery labyrinth. <sighs> we have to. Uh, this <laughs> fuck this. Unbearable. Ugh, come on, you're bumming me out here. I thought you were gonna ignore him. <laughs> yeah, but if he, if he keeps. Like if you keep bumming me out, my jiggle physics will go down. <laughs> They'll have significantly less jiggle than before. He's not even paying attention to my jiggle physics. <laughs> and nobody See, wants that. Yeah. Do you remember anything about the case? I, I hope he's just slowly walking behind you. What are you talking about when Chief Fiaco was attacked? I can't see. Oh, there he is. Uh, he's too, okay, he's catching up, so he must be running. He's keeping up. Memories. What? Oh, he does remember. Of his whole yeah, he oh, he's he's totally gotta remember. This is awesome. Yeah, he is. That's why no one remembers this death god. That's oh, hype as fuck. Thanks to yours truly that those cases got solved. That reminds me, I used my coalescence with Kubuki before Vivia, but Vivia is the only one who came into the mystery lab. Well, Fubuki wasn't there. Yes, coalescence got overwritten. Maybe it only takes the most recent ability. I don't know either. You don't know? But coalescence is your Yeah, it's... Mm. Relax, will ya? Minor detail. You would have been better off with Fubuki. She would have been far more useful for this <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, but you, you actually remember things, so I think... Oh. You're yeah. way more useful at the minute. And you're the one who investigated with us. And all Fubuki did was give me weird nicknames. I want Shinigami to start talking like Vivio, like, I don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> this is bullshit. Yeah. Who cares? I don't like this place. What if I just die here? That's the end goal. Read the Protector Volume 1 and die. Live in the life. <laughs> Live in life. <laughs> Alright, immediately I have, a, I have a fork in the road. Sweet! I, I, There's no question! Me like that. What the fuck? I thought this labyrinth would only require your wits. It looks like it's going to take more than that, Yuma. It also takes your blood, sweat, and tears, huh? He doesn't have a whole lot of wits, so he doesn't have a choice. Damn. Well, thanks. Can't argue with that. Oh, they're locked. But they're locked. And so we can come up with a question. Huh? Why didn't a problem appear? Hmm. Not only was there no problem, no choice appeared either. Master, maybe you don't even know which mystery to start with to solve this case. Yeah. You think? So That's many unknowns. I'm honestly feeling lost right now. Come on! You gotta know where to start with this stuff, or you won't be able to solve a single thing! Let's decide that for now. What's the first mystery of this case? Uh, the first mystery is... 
The fact that Dr. Wesker was be... murdered in a completely locked room with no way in Yeah, or how he got in. The doctor was located deep in the critical lab, behind layers of security. Because if we if we figure out how he, he got in, then we can, I guess, narrow down who the possible yet, suspects are. He was found stabbed to death. We were the first to discover the body. At the time, we were controlling the robot, Amapel. Because of that, we were thought to be the culprits. But we obviously aren't. And we also have to assume that he slipped past us because he was there to kick over the robot, but was gone by the time so we got in. the culprit get in and out of the doctor's lab? That's what I don't know. But the culprit is Unless he just stayed happen, hidden or something? Right? No, but he got out to Well, he did stab the chief. He yeah, stabbed he the chief. Yeah, he had to get out to stab the chief, yeah. I think so, but I'm not absolutely sure. Besides, even if the hitman did it, there's the question of who hired him. But there's no doubt the hitman stabbed Chief Yako. That's the only thing I'm absolutely certain about. Weird. What does he... What role does he play in this? That's so interesting. Kanai Ward's garbage. What oh, are fuck. you doing here? Yomi Hell smile. So the director of the Peacekeepers is here. Yeah, but he's just part of the mystery labyrinth. I figured. In other words, he's a monster yeah. created from the labyrinth, right? Yeah, how do we go from chapter one, like, uh, you know, like a executive, or not an executive, but like, you know, a, a captain or whatever of the Peacekeepers. S chapter two, the second in command of the Peacekeepers. Chapter three, some VTuber chick. <laughs> chapter four, <Yeah. laughs> the bleeder. How does that make sense? Uh, it doesn't. <laughs> it's, just, it's just, it's the Peacekeepers at every turn, which makes sense. Whoa, oh look at this guy. Disturbing the peace of Kanai War. He's what? Oh God. That's a fucking Whoa. Final Fantasy boss right there. Sephiroth! Sephiroth! <laughs> Sephiroth! <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> we're doing, we're doing what? Hmm? What? What are we doing? <gasps> Disturbing a bee! <laughs> okay, I'm done. Fucking hell. Like an easy opponent. <laughs> but we have no choice. For Chief Yako, for everyone. You killed Dr. Weska, didn't you? Turn no. yourselves in so I can torture you to death! Bro's straight up Monokuma. That's crazy. Disturbing the He's just an actual scary Monokuma. Look into my eyes. Now tell me the things you blabbing about behind my back. Damn, look at this guy. He's fucking crazy. He's hype. Security. Fuck. I gotta, 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 to bypass the system while it's active. Oh, could someone be. must have. It could no be the one. Can enter the doctor's lab. There couldn't <laughs> be an intruder. Oh, there is though. Ah, fuck! Which makes you the culprit. Okay, let me have a look at my solution key. So, yeah, this is all true. That's true. Security power supply. Um, Toxic gas properties, shoe print. I think. Oh, this is it. Yeah, for um. That's proof that someone was in there before us. For the there couldn't be an intruder. The shoe print. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, it would have been pretty tough to get through the security system, but the doctor died before we got inside, which means there had to be an intruder. Yes. So we know there is an intruder. You disarmed the security system to the doctor's lab. And then murder him inside. Ah, fuck. Until you actually enter Keep getting my ass beat. The security system for the critical lab stayed active. That's correct. It's impossible to bypass the system while it's active. In other words, that's not true. No one can enter the doctor's lab. 
There couldn't be Ow. an intruder. Yeah. yeah, get fucked, buddy. Sephiroth. When the body was first discovered, Amapel was about to enter the doctor's lab, but something bumped into it and knocked it over. In fact, there was a mark on Amapel's head, and like someone kicked it. That mark wasn't there when we borrowed it. It's proof that someone else was in the lab. <laughs> you call that evidence? Is bullshit the only thing that comes out of that mouth? No, I should be. That's my. That should be I, me asking you that. Fuck, I, I fucked it up. Here, Appel. Oh, Ow, fuck shit. it. There was an Little shit. How dare you call me that? That's impossible. I just said it was. I mean, yeah, yeah, I just that. said that it's there. You proved that yourself. No. Repel. Yeah, fuck you. We didn't prove shit. Yet. What do you mean? We proved there wasn't an intruder. <laughs> you still don't understand? Don't make me laugh. I am more and more convinced it's like either one of the like we don't know the name of any of the scientists, but like I kind of want it to be Yomi because that'd be funny. <laughs> Yeah. Where did they go? By the time you arrived at the scene, there was no one else, right? There's that's no place true. to hide in the critical. I don't think no that's true. They got past it. Or Wait. They slipped away and Ow. No, there is somewhere to hide. Or are you saying they slipped it's away and missed? <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah, it's hilarious. You committed the crime. No, 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 wait a second. Airlock Detamination Advice. Lab map. It was supposed to be a top secret file, but it was found, so that's probably not helpful. So the vent, panel chamber de decontamination device. Unlike the decontamination device in the airlock chamber, okay, so that's the panel chamber. Yeah, wait, which was um, the one where we stuck our head in and we could act and like... It was the airlock. I'm but yeah. there was also no way to go anywhere from that. Well, yeah. So that would have to, it would have had to have been a place to hide. Yeah, that would yeah the hiding one. Um. So how could the culprit have hidden for us? Yep. If there was another intruder. So we have to wait for the place to hide. Yeah. Where did they go? By the time you arrived at the scene. So he literally no kicked our thing over and dashed over to the fucking airlock and fucking no yeah. hidden it. Wrong! So, yeah, it doesn't necessarily mean that is what happened, but it could be. The fence cover can be easily removed. And there's just enough space for someone to fit inside. If they hid inside the decontamination device, we wouldn't have seen them when we arrived at the scene. <laughs> so what? You've got it all wrong anyway. Everything is wrong. Your existence is all wrong. Have fun chasing that fake truth Man. you found. Don't, cr don't try to gaslight me. I'll fucking kill you! I'll fucking kill you, man. I'll end your whole life. Your entire existence right. is, like, pointless, man. I managed to defeat him this time, but it's not over yet. He sure is persistent, huh? Anyway, there's no doubt someone else was inside the doctor's lab, so let's unravel each mystery one at so a time. So he kicked it over as a way to buy time, then. Alright, we'll get it this time. Come on, why does it have to be so sudden? Okay, now that we've wedged our way into this mystery, we just gotta head through the labyrinth and reach the truth! Although, hold on, the sequence of events was, we got in, it was immediately kicked over because we, it was kicked over before we went over to the dead body, and the security system wasn't disabled at that point. No. So it must have been after the security system was disabled that he went through the gas chamber. Right here. <sighs> We're 
we're just now getting to the point. Hey, Shut don't up. sigh. This is a good thing. Sorry. <sighs> anyway, he I wish he just said sigh. sigh. Sorry. Sigh. Yeah, well, it's progress, uh, Vivia. It is progress. The culprit probably hit Amapel on their way out. After that, they, they just stepped on him. Who is that big? They couldn't because we well, no, he just just come over. So they hid inside the decontamination device to avoid us. Yeah, but there was a footprint so, on him. If you yeah. inside, put your foot on it. Tip it over. So the way to the sea. Yeah. You would have caught the cold. Well, they they were saying he bumped he bumped into him. He didn't oh, well, bump they're, into they're him. fucking stupid. Yeah. <laughs> it was an emergency, yeah. and we had no idea they were in there. It's super lame to make up excuses, Master. It, it's not an excuse, but it is true. <laughs> You're lame. If I no, you. Why Amapal was knocked over at that time? I would have realized the culprit was in there. We could have waited in ambush to search for them. And if I'd caught the culprit then. Chief Yaka wouldn't have gotten stabbed. Master. But I mean, you might have gotten stabbed. If you have time for that, you have time to keep going. Right. What do you think I'm doing right now? <laughs> Let me through. If you have time to wallow in regret, you have time to give me a boo. Whoa! Another fork in the path. This one's a three-pronged fork. I only like forks when I eat food. Seems like we're finally at the central question. How did the culprit enter the lab? Never deactivated security, invited by the doctor. This is the first step to solving how the culprit committed an impossible murder. I leave the rest to you. I'm going Never to entered in the first place. You can bring your own stuff into the mystery. He's just special. <laughs> he, he's very special. Yeah, I mean, we just said there was an intruder, and it's definitely not deactivated security. So he. But it also doesn't make sense to have been invited by the doctor, because that would mean he would have had to have cut security. Either that, or he was in there for all three months. I doubt that's it. He must have like. Being invited in is like, mm. none of them seem accurate. Right. You're right. None of them seem accurate. Yeah. But I, I, this is the only thing because if we assume he could have, what if he was just in there all three months? I mean, that doesn't make sense because we saw the emails. But that's also the only one of these that even makes a little bit of sense based on what we've decided so far. Well, none. Yeah, none of them are like accurate. I feel this has to be like a. Ha, psych! Um... I'm gonna try invited, this. I don't, know, I don't yeah. know if it's right, but... No, that was the only one that It's the only one that even makes a little bit of sense. Okay, so... Spot on. The doctor invited the culprit in? But why? Things are so muddled now because we're assuming the culprit forced their way inside. If the culprit was invited to the lab, then he easily would have been able to enter. Ah, so you think the doctor disabled the security? He wouldn't need it if he was expecting a mm. guest. I hit a dead end though, maybe it's not it. Oh, never mind, it opened. Oh, okay. Huh? How are we feeling about this? Wrong, Yuma. Well. Okay, that was it wrong. Did you tell me? You wanted me to tell you? I should have yes. said so earlier. People only grow yeah. by learning from past mistakes. What are these guys? Alright, I'll try. Maybe this is a psych. What if all three are wrong? Um why is invited by the doctor not correct? Yeah, it has to be security or love. Oh. The yeah. lock on the doctor's computer didn't show any signs of security getting shut down. If that's the case, he certainly didn't cut security just to let someone in. So this will take me back to the beginning. 
So, well, okay. May have messed up, but it's one of the other two, two then. Closer to the truth. Maybe, yeah. but if you hadn't messed up in the first place, you wouldn't have to come up with such a lame excuse. I, I know. I feel like with how ambiguous this one is and how like I mean, the very start, we entered. didn't even have a question. Yeah, well, no, no. I feel yeah. like it's gonna be psych for all of them because of how the first yeah. one, like we didn't, we didn't have have a question at the start. It's gonna be like all of these are gonna be wrong, and we have to somehow find another path because none yeah. of them actually work. Because yeah, got the power, but I thought he yeah, had. Yeah, I his think own it. Thing. I think it's probably a psych. never entered but you said there's no doubt the culprit was in there well don't look at me true is not the culprit after all so you're saying what? that the doctor committed suicide but he was dead in the back if the doctor committed suicide then the culprit wasn't the intruder but the doctor himself but if the doctor did it there would be let me throw the doctor was already in the lab. Nah, because he was like, oh, who are you? Yeah, none of this makes sense. No, n none of the three of these. <laughs> yeah, so that they yeah. all have to be bullshit. I think, yeah, I think all of these are wrong. Sheesh. Even I'm losing motivation. There it is. You can take care of this on your own, can't you, Master? She started. She started, yeah. She started talking like, uh, talking like Vivia. Vivia. Well done. Mm. He couldn't have committed suicide because he was stabbed in the back. That's right. The doctor was stabbed three times in the back. One stab would have indicated that he held the knife in place, then fell on it to kill himself. But he couldn't have made three wounds like that. There's no way it was a suicide. I'm still of the opinion it was someone that's already in the fucking thing. But yeah. It's not giving Th that us was, that. Like, that's, that's why I, th I thought it was, like, the other thing, because... Yeah. If he had been in there for all three why months... Resting here wouldn't... That would have... That would have made sense, but... I mean, there's a couch. There's clearly some... F uh, another place for someone to sleep. So you, you're thinking like someone has, was in there running experiments with them for three months, and then well, that was why I initially chose this the right route, right? Because I think that I that would have been the only thing that would have made sense, because the security was not deactivated, and we've already established that there was an intruder, so that the middle one didn't make sense. But if he was invited in at the three months ago when the security was disabled, yeah, that would have made sense. That, yeah, and then he's just been working with someone for three months, and then... Yeah. But he said, who were you, though? When he got stabbed. Yeah, well, that that was the only thing, right? But that was, like, in... in Because it would have been the only thing that made sense. Was that he would have been in there for all... Because, like, maybe he put on a disguise. And remember, the, the doctor's deaf. Huh? What? This was the last route. This labyrinth is a tricky one. It's like so like if if the if the culprit had donned the disguise he would the doctor would have like no way of knowing that it was the friend he had there yeah that was why I initially chose that one but man okay well it's definitely the uh security one no it's not oh I died What do you mean? Oh, it's the, it's the, sorry, it's the, uh, the security power supply. Because it doesn't affect the, oh, they were, because they were streaming with the blackout. The doctor said the critical lab was on a separate grid, and the lab switchboard wasn't in the electrical room. The security wouldn't shut off, even if there was a blackout in the building. So, uh, what now then, Yuma? What do we do, Mr. Coco Head? Yeah, what do we do? What's going on? We're all three roots? Hmm. I wonder what it means. Even Shinigami is stumped. Yeah. 
means we don't really have that great of a read on this case. No, like, a lot of things about this case are very hidden. Oh! Hey, there's another door! I get it! Since we proved that every possibility was wrong, a new one has appeared! Interesting. The mystery labyrinth not only materializes the case, but also changes based on your investigation. Right. Something That's awesome. About those other That's loops. fucking sick. It's almost like we were forced to choose the wrong way. But by eliminating each wrong answer one by one, this is you fucking intense, my right guy. Answer. I'm so invested. I'm so invested right now. I sure do love stories. <laughs> I love, I love fantasy books. <laughs> Antony killed via spectral projection. Then the Is that? Hmm. I can't believe the they figured me out. With us. That's never happened before. How dare you trick me? Uh, <laughs> trick me. Once the mystery labyrinth is solved, the culprit will be judged. <laughs> She's intense. Oh, I can play it. How dare you trick me? <laughs> play the side. Play the side. Let's finish up this okay, hold on. And kill this dude. Fuck yeah. Play uh, <laughs> they That's got good. me. Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, fuck me. Oh, I don't. You can't. Like, what could you have done? Unless your real body was there. I don't think oh, that's the rules a, that's of how spectral he projection... That's how he runs. Okay, I was curious about that. <laughs> Naruto runs, of course. Yeah. Uh, that's why I said to wait. There's no way Vivi is the culprit. Then, uh, prove it and beat this thing. I won't be convinced until you do. Right. It's the uh. rules. You can't interact with things. Ghost form trades. Yeah, ghost form trades. Yeah. You, 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 like, Vivia had to have come to back with, into his body to do. Ghost form. He couldn't have held the murder weapon, the knife. So yeah, we, we, he held a knife up to us doctor. as a joke because he knew he yeah, couldn't well, use he, it. He held, yeah, because he was like, I'm going to have, I can't do this any, I can't do anything with this right now, but I have to, if I get back to my body and then stab you. Now do yeah. You times but a detective must suspect everything besides it's his fault for being so sketchy the way he looks how he who's talks, sketchy everything is super suspicious sorry yo my I bad though try to stay out of sight anyway let's go back uh. all right time for a, a <laughs> take five a fifth door please Oh, whoops. What was that? Um, if he's not the cover, we're back to square one. Let's try going back to the fork in the path. Maybe something else has changed. Yep. A fifth door. Probably. Door number five. Just what is it? Door number five. This. I sure can't wait to find out. Nothing's changed. We're out of options. What? There's nowhere to go? What was the point of eliminating all the options? <sighs> Come on. Don't start you guys are so again. stupid. How about you help us for a change? You better cooperate. Unless you want to get chopped up by Master Solution Blade. Oh, hold on, Shinigami. I, I can't do that I anyway. I don't want to get chopped up. I dislike pain. Immensely. But oh. You know, the journey up to now was in a waste. We did eliminate many possibilities. Yeah, that, that was it. We eliminated nothing if we can't reach options. The truth. Nothing. Why do you want the truth in the first place? Oh, I thought we already went over this. Huh? It's easy to say you want the truth. But are you sure you can handle <laughs> it? No matter how cool... You can't you handle the truth! Can I handle it? I'm still not sure if you're the kind of person who can. I bet you're not sure either. And that's why you're still so... hesitant. This mystery labyrinth also reflects your... Yeah! Lives. 
Where was the wound on the chief? What are you talking about? I've said it before and I'll say it again. I won't hesitate to expose the truth. So you still haven't realized it? I guess you're not quite right, there. Tell us! Well, that's fine for now. But eventually, you'll be forced to make a choice. When that happens, you have to prove your conviction and expose the truth. Like you said. Enough How dare you say it to me? Find some clues. As an apology clues, for the clues, clues, clues. Let me tell you something. This labyrinth appears to change shape by reflecting our investigation. So, instead of following the revealed path, isn't it possible to carve your own path? Overtried oh, that, my own idiot. Path. That's right, Shinigami. We can create new routes with our own deductions. Maybe we can do it here. Sometimes, just a slight change in perspective is enough to completely change how you see things. So if I change my perspective here, I might see something. <laughs> if I look oh, up. I'm going to like gravity flip again, yeah. I see. I was so focused on how to overcome the security system. But that's not right. I need to change my perspective and think about who could have overcome it. Don't box yourself in with your own assumptions. Okay, I'll give it a shot. I hate when the anemic vampire tells us what to do. But if Master wants to... Then well, what are you a bright Lay it all out, Master! Weird. Word search. We're doing this? What? Huh. Hmm. Am I am I about to like name drop somebody right now? What's going on? Very odd. Fuck. <laughs> Just saw F U. Who is capable of overcoming the security system? We've got five, and some of them are doubles. The. Oops, she was still throwing that up. The robot. Oh, she didn't like it. The robot. Yeah, it would have been a robot. Uh, I'm a pal. No, I fuck. No, come back. So the A dash. P A L. Yeah. No. Okay. Go, 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 go. Oh, nailed it. Yeah, I'm a pal. He's so someone used I'm a pal to. Do all this. <laughs> there was another one. How dare he knock? What? <laughs> but when? What was the footprint, though? Oh, I guess they could have just. Well, that doesn't. Wait. <laughs> the fucking Look Zelda great. ass discovery music. <laughs> yeah, literally. This is all thanks to me. <sighs> great job. Perhaps I said too much. Well, nothing has been solved yet. I wish you'd express yourself a little better. How can we tell if you're happy or sad? I've never been happy or sad in my wow. entire life. <sighs> Holy shit. I want to die someday. Anyway, let's explore this new room. But wouldn't that be good for you? For him him dying? Yeah, but not here. We need him here. Yeah. Yeah, he can hear. Yeah. Actually, that's kind of funny. He's the only one that could kind of reveal that Shinigami exists. And like, cause like, yeah. we, we can't explain anything because of the contract, but he could fucking tell everyone. Yeah. Real. When you think about who could get past security, the only option we know of is armor pal. True, and that's how we were able to. But there's more than one armor pal, isn't there? I'm, I'm yes, assuming there there's is. There's definitely yeah. more than one. Because right? the they were being mass produced. I don't know yet. And they're already being advertised for, so they're selling them. Can get through security. It must be important. 
It's like someone used an armor power to stab him in the back. I don't know. Something. No, no yeah, way. Yeah, I uh, mean, like, that. yeah, because his hands are, the armor power's hands are balls, so it couldn't hold anything. It's still the whole we thing. We already know that the security Snow system off. wasn't yeah, turned off any time between three months ago and when we got in. It's still the whole thing about him going, who are you? That's the still the confusing part. Yeah. Yeah, my best friend. Wait. What the? What the? Wait. Who are you? Help! Somebody come help me! Isn't this the footage of when the doctor was attacked? Yeah, yeah. that's right. right. Okay. The mystery materialized. It must be related to what the doctor just said. Oh shit. Who are you was directed at who? Is, who did the doctor say? Who are you? To <laughs> he materialized a couch. I, I, yeah, I was gonna say, a couch just appeared well, for him. I'll leave it to you. You, know, you can keep reading at a time like this. I mean, no one? Would it have to be Armapal? I mean, because he could have faked it. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe he did kill himself with an Armapal, or. I don't. Well, but there was no. Wait, was there an Armapal at the crime scene apart from ours? No, there wasn't. Oh my god, I'm so confused. There's only this, this, is, this is actually confusing. Yeah. Does that mean we found the right answer? Huh? So the right answer is no one? Why would the doctor say who are you if no one was there? But the security is... was still active at the time, so <sighs> no one could enter Yeah, no one could have gotten in, and we didn't see another thing. And that was before I borrowed Amapel. So the only explanation is that- Yep, no it was before was we got in. Why did he say that if no one was there? I think if we go there, we'll find the answer. What? It's obviously just a side road. Who cares what the old geezer was thinking anyway? But it looks like this is the only way we can go. Besides, I am curious about what was going through his mind. It could be an important factor in solving the mystery behind this case. Still, being forced to take a side route is too much. Maybe that has something to do with to why the the, th the death threat went out to everybody. Maybe. Yeah, it could be like everyone received the death threat so no so one would know. Like, so, so just any one of them could have yet, but I been killed. To do with why he said yeah. I think the doctor was putting on an act. An act? Really? The doctor put on an act for a reason. But I have no idea why. We have to figure that out by going down this doctor's motive route. Maybe him and the... Maybe this is the way for the doctor to escape. He faked his death so his corpse yeah. would be removed and then he can get out. Yeah, maybe he faked his death the whole time. He could it could be. Could be that there is no murder. He's here too? You rats keep scurrying around. Do you really think you'll discover Dr. Weska's motive this way? Good luck with that, morons! Well, I mean, yeah, yeah no it said what all. was his motive right on, right above the path I took, so yeah. Well, he said there's nothing here. Yeah, who wants to <laughs> escape? He wants to leave. If he's trying to block our path, then this route must be important. Ah, uh, fine. <laughs> I'm only here because you maggots piss me off. So, I'm gonna end you here and now! Great luck, dickhead. Yeah, I, I think the faking faking his death to, to escape could this definitely be it. This was all part of the doctor's plan? He didn't have what? a plan at all. How do you know? No, he did. He, we saw the emails. I know it no reason to put on a show. Oh. The doctor misunderstood. Nice. Whoop. I 
misunderstood what? You probably don't know this. Put his whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> the research was going well. No, it wasn't. Don't we have the emails to prove that? The doctor was loyal to Amaterasu. Oh, oh, hit now, no, hit now. Wasn't. Yeah, I was gonna. No the e, because the e, the emails say he wasn't loyal because he was talking about leaving. Yeah. Well, I also thought it was that the research was going well. That could also be it. But I think the safer option is. Well, yeah, because no, you're right. The emails also said ah oh, failed or whatever. That they were getting canned. Like, that the research was getting canned. Yeah. Okay. So it's either yeah, last one or second it's, it's, last. Yeah. There was no reason to put on a show. The doctor misunderstood. What? You probably Yeah, I think the safer one is loyal. Wesker put his soul into his work. What? The research was going well. What? The doctor was loyal to Amaterasu. What? Oh, fuck yeah. Let's go, boys. <clears throat> Doctor was planning on betraying Amaterasu Corporation. He was trying to escape Kanai War. He said so in the messages he wrote. <sighs> you little goo! Oh, well, that was easy. What a pushover. Okay, but him. Wait a minute. Him killing himself to plan. Oh, like getting. Oh. Hmm. See, okay, Do you I have am a body now a little bit less that? body double, maybe, but I'm just, the only reason I'm now not convinced is because why kill head detective? Yeah, because he, he clearly has, Yako has something. Right, the doctor was going to betray Amaterasu. Fuck, man. This is this is like the only puzzle, which is maybe it's because I was not here for like an hour or so. But like, this is the only no, puzzle. No, it, does, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make yeah. any sense. There's Something nothing. Because the only thing we lo like, what, 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 where were we at when you got back? I forgot at which point I I left briefly, came back when. Desahiko and um, Chief made it. It's then I left briefly event. again and came back when you were doing uh, Armor Pal. With then Fubuki. you've seen everything I've seen. You've seen everything I've seen. So I didn't. So I, I didn't miss out on anything. You didn't. It's just the pain. No, you the, didn't miss the out extra, on anything. The extra. The detectives arriving. So the cutscenes yes, of that. That's was literally the only thing it. I yeah. Okay. How did the doctor plan to escape Kamen Rider? And insert the correct solution key. This is way more terrorist bombing blackout. Guess I'll leave it to As always. Swapping places. There it is. Swapping places with somebody else. Um. Aha! Making the victims unrecognizable. Maybe this. The door actually opened. I knew I could let Yuma handle it. Are you sure you aren't a phantom? Okay, so I mean, that means he was using the sulf sulfuric acid experiments as a way of finding someone who could replace him. Because they would be unrecognizable? Oh shit! Security breach! So the doctor tried to swap places oh, with someone yeah. else to escape from Five the Five of Freddy's. The behind in the lab hinted at his plan. You mean huh. the diagram with the severe gas of being poured on someone? Yeah. He was going to swap places with a the corpse, then melt it with acid. He wanted to disfigure it beyond recognition. That's how he planned to fake his own death. So okay, he planned so to fake, wait, but yeah, he actually on... did get murdered. So he was planning on fake. There yeah, is. okay. It but he actually did get murdered, which is why the plan didn't go. Board. It went different. Wow. Melting a corpse with sulfuric acid? Yay, it's so cool and grotesque. So who is the substitute supposed to be? Maybe 
The hitman. The doctor was under surveillance by Amaterasu, but he was still looking for a chance to escape. When he learned the hitman was after him, he figured his chance had arrived. The doctor was hoping to use the security system to kill the hitman and use the body okay. as a decoy. Yeah. Now that I think about it, the doctor did seem to be waiting for the hitman to arrive. So, yeah, he, mean, he didn't want to leave at all. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and so the act was part of that as well, was part of his original plan. The hitman hasn't arrived yet. When will he show up? Don't tell me this so-called first-rate hitman was captured by Peacekeeper. But so maybe maybe the the death threat was also That's part of his original plan. Although I don't know how he would have dispersed plans. them, considering he never left. And that was the act he put on by asking you, "Who are you?" Perhaps that was a trap to lure you in, Yuma. He was trying to lure Master. He considered taking advantage of the detectives, since the hitman never showed up. And we could rule his case. So if he called the for way help, he wanted. He would charge into the lab, not knowing anything about the security system, and thereby acquire the corpse he needed oh, as okay. his decoy. That seems overly complicated. Like those guys who overthink asking girls out? Just do it. Hey. Well, he couldn't have used another researcher. Someone would have noticed their absence. He needed visitors. People from outside to pull it off. There's still the weird... I don't know if you saw if you were there for this, but there was a weird detail where he was... Uh... Weirdly interested in Fubuki. And Which, I don't know if that was in a pervy so way or not. The, the doctor. Rushed into the lab. Yes. No, I was not there for that. Yeah, that's a weird... That's a weird detail that hasn't been accounted for. Did he somehow know about Fubiki's forte? No. He he said, Who's the woman standing behind you right now? And then he had this like contemplated face. Oh. what about the impossible murder? And then it seemed like Desuhiko was trying to make her like uh like, you know, woo him, like seduce him a bit to let let them in. And then he almost agreed to it, and then he got attacked, I think. No, I was not there for that. Just an act when we saw yeah. The intercom. So he was like, uh, like, Fubuki did this, like, you know, she tried to be sweet or sexy or whatever, and then he was like, you know what, you're right, maybe I'm running low on food, maybe it's time I come out, and then he's like, what, who are you? Uh. Sure the real hadn't hmm. yet. So that's a weird detail that hasn't been accounted for yet. I think F maybe he was the Fubuki would have been the only one close enough in size to maybe that substitute as a corpse. So the problem is, I see two issues with that. Yeah. <laughs> Boobs. <laughs> that's bad. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for thank you for explaining the joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> Glad you got it. <clears throat> Oh. Oh, good. What the hell? A carnival Where game just for me. This place is a real mystery. Then again, I suppose that checks out. Huh? We're made of paper. Yeah, master, this looks like an important turning point. So, is that your final answer? I haven't said anything yet. Okay. The culprit entered the lab before the Amapal, yes or no? Master, you need to narrow down the timing for when the culprit got inside. Oh! Oh! Wait! Wasn't there like a fucking huge put point where we were op waiting for the door to open? Oh yeah, we were there for fucking ages with the armor pal thing. So he's he was hiding in the vents in the first room and followed armor pal inside. Oh shit! 
That makes way too much sense. He was on our tail the whole time while we were yes. old pal. Oh. Although that doesn't, I, it still doesn't explain the toxic gas, but there is a. No. So, are you thinking he f initially faked his death, but then as we yes. entered as Armor Pal, he was actually stabbed? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. I like that idea. Yes. The culprit entered the um, uh, arm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. That would be the. Yeah. Sorry. When I directed Armapal to go into the doctor's lab. He already had a knife stuck in him, which means he was murdered before Armapal entered the doctor's lab. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I was like. Yay. Would you like to double down? What are you doing? Yeah, sure, why not? Sure. Anyway, let's keep going. All right. I'm starting to see it a little bit. Little by little, we're narrowing down when the culprit entered. Yeah, but we still don't know how yet. It had to be between when we spoke to the doctor over the intercom and when Amapel entered his lab. During that time, the culprit entered the doctor's lab. Damn, that the culprit him. is one athletic so motherfucker. The likely time would be when you went to yeah, real. Amapel, master. The culprit had to have entered the lab then. But Fubuki waited at the front chamber while Desuhiko and I went to borrow Amapel. She said no one entered or left the lab. Let me through, let me through. Okay, curtain. Mysteriful. Huh? We're back on the original path. Maybe you're well, supposed fuck. to try opening that door now. I'm sure that from here on out, it's not just about when. But also how the culprit got in. Yuma, there's no need to push yourself. Things get too hard. No, I can't. Alright, man. It. I'm going to solve it. Hmm. <laughs> this is All right. a map of the critical lab. So there's the lab, there's the panels, so it would be in this first hallway. Where the culprit yeah. Was before the murder. We'll have to solve them one at a time. Let's start with this mystery. If we know where the culprit was before they got in, this route will be clear too. Do you know where? Uh... Yes, I do. Here. Bam. That's actually so funny. In that brief here. time, with how long that fucking door took to open, he just ran yeah, it. Has to be he just it. ran in, like covered he, the doctor's he mouth, fucking stabbed, went for it, stabbed three times, <laughs> hid yeah. behind the corner for you to walk in, kicked the thing over, and hid into the other vent. Yep. My God. The culprit had to have already made their way inside. But that it the one inconsistency is the toxic gas. Because if it was a person, they couldn't have done it. <sighs> That's weird. Unless the person like, willingly did it, knowing he was gonna die 30 minutes later. True. There, the culprit had to be inside that decontamination device before committing the crime. Hmm. I <sighs> But I thought he was just hiding in there to avoid being spotted after the crime. 
So All right, I'm throwing. I was in there before the crime too. I I just ha I have to throw this out there. The culprit was waiting. What about the chief? Yeah. We what no for? What purpose did he stab the chief as well? Oh, what do you think the chief is the one that did it? Is that what you're saying? Yes, that's what I'm thinking. Because what if? Because if if that if that was the case, right? And he knew he was gonna die in 30 minutes. What if he stabbed himself to hide the fact that he actually did get poisoned? I don't know because we. Well, he okay. Well, the chief was like oh, seek the truth, or whatnot. But yeah. Um. That other fella walking past. Yes, there was still that other guy. Which means See, like, that that would make sense because it's just like, oh yeah, he's bleeding out, he's gonna die anyway, and then in 30 minutes he just fucking yeah. kicks it, but... Hmm. Option? But he, even, the, even the chief was like, no, Fink the slaughter motherfucker. How did they use it? If it was just Fink the whole time, I mean... Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, I guess. I have an idea. Would I mean, me would it not be? I guess. I mean, the only thing. What was he gonna say? Oh. Shut the fuck um, up. Why did I expect? Fucking why did I expect tired. anything? Um. Nope, no gonna, like, died. surely there's not a way to get inside the robot, right? The robot's pretty small. I don't think. Yeah. Another fork in the road. A Three pronged life. fork. How did the culprit use armor pal? Beyond okay. each problem lies as a shield, as a weapon, We're neither. Definitely getting closer to the heart of this mystery. <sighs> uh. I mean, neither. Yeah. Because that's a, an ambiguous. It leaves room for. Something more it's specific. purposely leaving room for doubt, so yeah, neither. I think, I think neither. Neither, neither. Let's try this. Do you think neither is really the right answer? Given the process of elimination, that must be it. Amapel's hands aren't designed to hold anything, so it couldn't use the knife to murder the doctor, which means... Amapel wasn't the murder weapon, and the culprit couldn't have used it as a shield. It can't neutralize yeah. the toxic gas, and the high voltage shock would destroy it. So then, how did the culprit use Amapel? I think we'll find out if we continue down this path. Mm. Well, oh, no, never mind. Are we just falling, or was that actually wrong? I don't know. Oh. Oh. Oh no! Back to the start. Start. Huh? Where? We've been maybe this is before, different now. It looks like we've been brought back. But the door we opened earlier is closed again. Why's that? Yeah, I wonder why. Factory reset. My God! Stop. Yeah. Where was the culprit before the crime? The question is the same. Does that mean we gotta do it all over again? Well, the logic is still sound. There's no other hiding spot for the culprit besides the airlock. So you want to choose the same answer and keep going? If you do, you'll just repeat the whole process again. We'll just be brought. Back I have the option is like hiding behind armor pal. armor pal. I just like the idea of yeah, he's he just like behind armor pal, and as the head moves, he just like shuffles the other direction. <laughs> yeah. What should I do? Stand up! Stand up right now! Stop it! Leave me alone. If you want me to leave you alone, then help my useless master out. <sighs> Fine. Fine. Just one thing, then. We're back at... Where was the culprit before the crime? Because you're stuck at... How did the culprit use Amapau? With yeah. that in mind, these two questions are connected. Connected? Both the culprit's location and how Amapau was used? Help him out more! More, more, more! The culprit was hiding in the airlock. Where you also left the robot, right? 
At that moment, only the culprit and Amapa were there. So maybe the culprit did I'm getting something. dizzy, please stop. The culprit did something to Amapel? Clues are always there. Oh, that's right. right! Under your nose. It's a detective. There was a disturbance! Did you notice anything strange back then? Any I forgot about that. Disturbance. Try to I don't think you I don't think you were there. I think this happened right before you got back. There was a disturbance. The screen glitched out for a second. Something strange. Hey! Now that you mention it, back then. Oh hey, the screen lit up. So this is what Ama Pals. It's like the cockpit of a mecha. Whoa, what was that? This, it like glitched out for a second. Did it break already? I thought it was state of the art. No, it's all And right. then it went back to it's normal. Stabilized. There was a moment when the camera stopped functioning while it was controlling Amapel. It returned to someone like quick, but maybe Did he land on Amapel? So, I told you it was right under your nose. You don't need any additional help from me. Right? That was a clue to Did he ride Amapel the whole way? It could be. Maybe is that's that... why the footprint was there. Actually, yeah. So clearly on top. To that well, that would make more it sense than just him slightly stuff. kicking the guy, but the like, kicking the yeah. little Perhaps robot. But there's more you're overlooking. Was there anything, anything else? else unusual? Something unusual. Something I missed. Hmm. Anything else? It's not like Amapel's camera showed the culprit. Wait, that's it? Huh? Now that I think about it, wasn't that strange? The culprit must have gotten ahead of Amapel, but why didn't they ever show up on the camera? If the culprit he was on the Amapel camera. The <laughs> lab, he uh. would have been spotted for sure. Now that you mention it. But nobody showed up on camera. How did the culprit manage to pull that off? How can you move from the airlock to the doctor's lab without appearing even once on Amapel's camera? Hey, aren't you just adding another mystery? No. All the pieces are here. Huh? Yuma, the mysteries you face now can be solved with a single answer. A single answer? Man, don't be cryptic, dog. Sheesh. I talk too much. You talk too much. You never Ooh. shut up. I said you talk too much. Why did the culprit appear on camera? What kind of armor powers malfunction? It's a Pandora's box of mysteries. L let's stay calm and think about it. There's plenty of time. Are you sure about oh. that? I'll keep reading. Are you sure about that? Wrap things up. All it takes is one answer to solve these mysteries. Use those weak brain cells of yours and think. Oh, yeah, I mean, there it is. Like the remember the weight capacity, 100 kilograms, less than a human being. Yeah, some yeah. It's malfunction. That's right. Ah. Not an elephant. Just a small yeah, not person. an elephant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh shit, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Whoops. It'd be on top of Ama Pal's head. He was bouncing on one foot, like a crazy person. Yeah, Jeff the killer, whoever the fuck is uh clearly really athletic. The playmate as a weapon as transportation. Dead battery, culprit jumped on it. Why didn't the culprit appear on camera? They were on top of the head. Ha! Yeah. <laughs> the door opened. With every open door, it will be harder for you to turn back. Are you sure? Are you sure you that you going? want to keep going? Absolutely. Imagine being told no to just what. voice act and sound really sad. <laughs> well, this is yeah. bullshit, man. I mean, I, that's what he did for, uh, for old Yuki, Persona 3 protagonist. You said the 
This is my specialty. Sounding like I don't care about the world. Literally what I said. The culprit rode Amapel and used it to get through. Sweet a diagram. In the air Blender. The culprit came out of the decontamination device. Yup. Then they jumped on Amapel's head. The disruption in the footage was from the impact. Yup. Is it? I think it's fairly reasonable. Amapal can withstand up to a hundred kilograms of weight. So someone riding on it should not affect its functionality. I was thinking the whole time you were going over those like buttons. Like, damn, this motherfucker's moving slowly. Yeah. If he if he had a guy on him, <laughs> that would make sense. Yeah. After that, the culprit simply rode on it as it moved toward the doctor's lab. By doing so, the culprit was able to evade the camera and remain hidden as they made their way. Right, how'd you guys get in front of him? You're right. If it's true, then it does solve all of the previous mysteries. But well, I'm you, glad. Good for have you. Have you not realized that you're still missing something? One major mystery remains. <sighs> the greatest mystery of this series <sighs> should appear soon. Just the thought of it gets me feeling. Yeah, alive. the other thing is we don't have an. The chief doesn't have an alibi this during the time of the murder. Mystery? All we know is that he was distracting the people. If it was the chief, that would be very interesting. Yeah. This is the panel chamber. It's the wi the thing I the, the weird thing about it to me is like how uh, Vivia was like, "Do you want to reach the truth, no matter how cruel it is?" That means like that Dr. feels. Just beyond it. If we can get through here, uh... we can reach the goal, yeah. Mm. So. What if we hold on, hold on? Right. So okay, reasoning, We're not a reasoning death match, but a little. Uh, I'm like starting to connect the pieces in my head, right? So what if we assume, if we assume the chief is ex Amaterasu, right? We saw that yeah. picture with him of him with the girl he liked. Yeah, um, and he and he and he hid it behind the bush. Who and who was a researcher, right? So what if? The previous, like, whenever that was, he ended up using, the doctor ended up using her as a subject for his experiments. She died, and he and Chief wanted revenge. Yeah, and then he got, like, removed from Am Amaterasu. Like, maybe he complained yeah. and it didn't work. And that's why he so, wanted to he wanted to kill the doctor. Uh, yeah, so this entire time he's been like exactly what I was trying to figure out how to get back in so he can kill the doctor. That's yeah. yeah that that could be explained why he was so fucking gung ho about it. It's cuz this is like yeah. the closest like cuz he was never exactly. gung ho about anything before. Mhm. Mm oh, yeah. yeah and no. it might also explain how they got in in the first place. If he's a former researcher. Yeah, right. Uh, when did the culprit get off on my pal? Um, uh, when... I guess it would get you before opening the door. Okay, it would be during. Well, I mean, I thought, you know... What about right before? <laughs> yeah, opening. I mean, works either way. Yeah. Culprit murdered the doctor before Amapel entered the room, which means the culprit. So we now we need to like hold up the chief's boot to yeah. the, the this motherfucker's head. At that moment, exactly. The culprit snuck into the doctor's room. Yeah, when the doors were slowly opening, just like this. That's when the culprit took their chance. So, did it, maybe he paid someone, or right someone just stabbed him? As he left anyway, like maybe there wasn't meant yeah. to be a second person dead, and the chief. Yeah, that, like, that one weird figure is the only weird explanation. Yeah, maybe it was the anything. slaughter bitch, like James the slaughter fuckwit, that actually stabbed yeah. him mm -hmm. anyway. So then, yeah, okay. Okay. 
James the Slaughter Man. Fink. I don't. Fink. I don't. Fink, Fink the Slaughter Guy. Fink the. <laughs> Fink the Slaughter Guy. Fink. 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 <laughs> nah, he's Jeff the Killer. <laughs> yeah. No, we've got a lot. I think we got a, a fair way to go this still, my girl. You? Your deduction is full of holes. If this is a joke, it's not very funny. Master, you know what to do. Of course. Hmm. I'll take hmm. your garbage deduction and toss it in the trash. I am the saint of Kanai Ward, protecting it from filth like you. Okay. The culprit hopped off all the power as the door opened. Yeah. All right. What am I? What are my things? So Fubuki's forte: ghost form traits, vent in critical lab, Anapal's Anapal's design. I um, think, I mate, know. this is probably gonna relate to Anapal. So yeah. Fuck. Jump. That's impossible, even for Fink the slaughter artist. How do you know? How do you know that? Think about it. <laughs> think about Anapal's it. No. Oh. Camera would have it. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa. No. Yep, 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 yep. There it is. That's it. Right there. While extending or tracking the arm, they form the camera and body do not function. So it's that that statement. That last one. No one would do something so risky. It's Except not risky because you know how the, the arm works. What? The how did that happen? What? Did they use some sort of special power? Oh, little do you know. Right. Yeah. Remember running? We would have seen the culprit. Yep, I know this. The culprit hopped off all of hell as the door opened. I'm I, I'm it more convinced about the chief the because like why he gave us his whole fucking like half of his backstory before this as well. Like yes. it's yeah, it's setting up his it death. It feels like that's where it's going. Valapal's line of sight changed just a bit. Yeah, fuck you. That's impossible! Valapal is designed so that when its hand is stretched out, it won't execute any other inputs. That's why when it was pressing the button for the door, the culprit didn't show up on the camera. <sighs> you little maggots. Don't get so full of yourselves. And don't and don't you get too full of yourself just because you look like Sephiroth. Out of here alive. Well, we, we yeah. Man, yeah. Mr. Hell Smile, Hell Smile is really fucking st annoying. I really hope he drops dead. Like I hope I, this I, whole I, shit I, goes out the window and he just dies. Yeah, I, I hope he dies anyway. Yeah, again, like, I don't think any of this is going to be solved, unless... Okay, if if the Chief is the one that has done it and is dead, like, the only way this can be solved, like, fixed, is if, like, Shinigami goes, uh, possesses him, he runs in, and it's like, IT WAS ME! <laughs> Yo, man! <laughs> but, <laughs> Whoever planned this must have really wanted the doctor dead. There you go. I guess you can call it yeah. an obsession. How scary. I could believe it. This passageway. I think I mean all the pieces Where are there. Yeah, I'm I'm Perhaps I'm getting convinced. With the culprit's obsession and for this Knock it off with the weird soliloquies. Let's go. You really going? That was a big word, Shinigami. I'm impressed. Oh no. I think that might have taken ah, a, 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 shit. Few, a few takes. Oh. Yeah. Yuma. Like the voice actress is actually stupid too. <laughs> what does this say? Huh? Yeah. At the time, the doctor was in the room, right? If well, where the door else would he opened been? and an intruder entered, how could Cause the he's deaf. not have noticed? Because he was face down, pretending to be dead. Yes, it is. If he had noticed an intruder. The doctor would have turned to face him. 
Which oh, he's deaf. He was face he's down hearing. pretending to be dead. That piece of trash is right. No, he only he the only he flawed. assumed nobody would get in the room. So he didn't have to pretend to be dead. He wasn't playing dead. He's hard of hearing. Right oh yeah, true, hard of hearing as well. Words of yeah. Your crappy deduction is worth less than shit. Everything you do is a fucking mistake. Man. If I was depressed, I would not want to be hearing this guy talk to me. <laughs> no way. Vivia, you good, brother? Hanging in there. Honestly, though, that, that is like very little insult to what I tell myself. So get fucked, buddy. Yeah. You can't do shit to me. Yeah, oh, Dan, if you, you were you. you wouldn't be so frustrated. Your deduction is inconsistent. No. Wrong! Oh. Damn. Maybe it is inconsistent. Well, whatever. Damn it. Your I inconsistently sleep with your mom. It's, full of it's like every uh, three or four months. My. Doctor could be stabbed. It wouldn't be from behind. It yeah, fuck you. Be. Doesn't hold up. <clears throat> no, the culprit did stab the doctor in the back. That's how the body was discovered. That's why I'm saying your deduction is inconsistent. By your logic, the doctor couldn't have been murdered in that way. Uh, information on Dr. West. That's it. He's also hard of hearing. Yeah, room. fuck you. But the doctor was in the room at the time, right? Yes. There's no way you missed an intruder. Yes, there is. Yeah, there is. Running is noisy. So West would have heard and turned to face the culprit. No, he doesn't hear. He's his hard of hearing. would have been stabbed, not his back. Okay, okay, I guess that was right. Maybe I had to sit on it. That's right. The culprit quickly entered the lab. But the doctor was in the room at the time, right? There's no way you missed it. Doctor was in the room. Running is noisy. Is it this? Okay, no. If it's not that, then I gotta sit on it a bit. Yeah. The culprit quickly entered the lab. But the mm. doctor was in the room at the time, right? There's no way you cool. missed an intruder. Running is noisy. So Wesker would have heard and turned to face the culprit. Yeah, I, I actually think and we've got this in the bag. Sad. Yeah, I actually think, I, like, thinking I think about it cheap. over, it just makes too much seen. sense. Is there any trace of him being drugged? Like, all of the pieces are pointing to that. No, no trace of him being drugged. Even if he didn't look back from his desk. Right. Ow! He heard someone coming! Okay, here we go. No, he wouldn't have, bitch! It must be. Like, that's the only thing that makes sense. Especially since we don't have- Like, we have a-, a, a An incredible lack of actual suspects. Right? Like, we don't know who this man could be. Yeah. Now you're spouting nonsense. Yeah, so I, I am of the belief that, yeah, the de uh, head, detective head detective guy, guy killed the doctor, no and then as he was leaving, and, like, he was probably, that's why he probably had the photo, because he was just, like, looking at the photo of his wife, and then Fink yeah. the slaughter fucker actually came and killed him. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> You're the one refusing to see the truth right before your eyes. See, but it still what? doesn't make sense. I refuse to see the Cause truth. Cause they they have so far we haven't he said the same talked thing. about how but even if he was riding on top. Don't you think? 
he got past the toxic gas. You noticed that. Yeah, but yeah, maybe this he is knew right he here. was gonna. He knew he was gonna die. That's probably why. Just like he left and was just looking at yeah. a photo of yeah. his wife, knowing no, he was gonna die shortly. Yeah. That's because the culprit is the hitman. If that's the case, why haven't you reaped the hitman's soul? And that would end the labyrinth. It's not that easy. The culprit will fight back unless we solve all the mysteries first. Hang on. What are you getting at? In my eyes, the reason a single mystery hasn't been directly connected to the culprit is because of Yuma's reluctance. It's pushing away the mysteries that lead to the culprit. Huh? I think Vivi is even telling us this, like, yeah. you refuse to consider everyone to as a suspect. That's why you haven't touched on the hole in your reasoning. What hole? Whatever, that's enough. And just ignore this guy and keep going. Oh, hey! Yeah, he definitely knows. Yeah, he definitely knows. And isn't it also established lore Yuma. the chief has a gas mask? Yuma. Or something like that? Please go away. Uh you know what I'm I don't actually know. About, don't I don't you? know either. The huge hole in this investigation. But a yeah, gas mask say they said gas masks wouldn't work. What are you? No, 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 because I think it said it would kill you if you What's inhaled it, it, but it would Shall still we? seep into your skin and yeah, take it would seep into your skin. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. So I think, yeah, maybe he had a gas mask just so he wouldn't die instantly, but he yeah. knew he only had 30 that minutes. Stabbed the doctor mm. from behind. So that's enough time to However, kill the doctor. The yeah. While escaping, causing it to fall over. I don't remember the gas mask that hint, if that's the thing he's known for, but I mean, but if yeah, he does, I don't know. Video, they were able to avoid detection. After that, Although maybe he held his, it could be he held his breath. Contamination device the That's a long time to hold your breath. You. Well, no, he only had to get out until so until we got through deduction? the gas. Was that, the was gas that only was one room with the gas? Yes. Ah, okay. The, the other two decontaminate the gas. The rooms of poison. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, the decontamination room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. The culprit get past security. What? Yeah, here we go. We already told you that. The culprit rode on top of Avapal as Master controlled it and was taken all the way to the doctor's lab. But if someone was riding on it, how did they get past the high voltage shocks in the panel chamber? Oh. Are we just ignoring the toxic fucking gas? <laughs> this is the end for you. You have nowhere left to go. Oh, come on. I won't let you maggots ruin the peace of Kanai Ward! As the king of Amaterasu Corporation and the guardian of Kanai Ward, I will stop you here and now! You're the king, Perhaps yeah, right, okay. too is an obsession. Why does he insist on covering up the truth? Tell me, what will you do, Yuma? Are you going to stay willfully blind? No, I'll fight. Whether it's subconscious or not, I won't look away from the truth. I'll find the truth no matter what. This is for the chief and everyone at the Nocturne. Yep, it sure is for the chief. So he can yeah, die see, easier yeah, than he is right now. <laughs> it's conflicting. Good luck. You'll never. You'll scurry around this labyrinth forever. Like blind mice. You'll run away in Looking for an answer that will never come. Yeah, we're looking for any other answer that's not our friends. Yeah. Think. <laughs> Think. Think the slaughter man. Think the slaughter. Keep playing with your uh -oh. shit deductions. You still haven't solved the what? greatest mystery. It's better than anything you've come up with, than just like, ooh, there you go, just kidding. The critical lab security system was always live. That's true, it was. There was no way to reach the doctor. The panel okay. chamber shocks would have fried the culprit. Mm -hmm. That security system. 
Uh, it would have been it would have been Fubuki's force. Here we go. Let's see where they're going. No living human can breach it. Ow! Don't tell me the culprit is a robot. Huh. Okay. Okay. So no living human. Yeah. Here we go. All right. So that was it. Keep playing with your shit deductions. How dare you call my deduction the shit? Mystery. How did the culprit get past the security? The critical lab security system was always live. There was no way to reach the top. Right. The panel chamber shocks would have fried. There, there it is. That's even more proof. It would have had to have been someone system. who knows about Fubuki's forte. No living human can breach uh. it. I know, you, you need to stay on the right side, hit the thing first, yeah. and then swipe. Yeah. It's playing with your shit, you still have Ow! Fuck! Mystery. You're getting your fast ass handed to you. How did the culprit get past the security? <laughs> the <laughs> security system was <laughs> alive. There was no way to reach the culprit. <laughs> the panel chamber shocks would have fried the culprit. Yeah. That security system. No living human can breach it. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Bitch. Oh. He seems pretty dead after that one. Human could get past the panel chamber by using Fubuki's forte. In fact, listen to this piano music. They're happens. starting to realize the high voltage shocks kept destroying Amapel, but we reverse time every time that happened. Correct. So whenever it was struck by the current, it went back in time. But while that was occurring, the culprit, a human, was riding on top of Amapel. That person was burnt to a crisp every time you failed. But Yo, my bad! Which means you killed the culprit over and over again. Vivia! If only you had chosen to remain ignorant, I would have walked beside you in silence. But if you intend to seek the truth... Yep. Here we go. Then I must Jesus. Because he doesn't want the truth to be revealed. What are you doing? Yeah, right. Why are you doing this? He's going to betray you, Master. Betray me? It's up to you, Yuma. This is your final chance to save the world you believe in. What are you going to do? It's time to decide your past and... Your future. Why well, I don't remember one of them. Yeah. So that doesn't matter. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think I don't think this is a fork in well, maybe it forks to a bad ending, but I don't I don't think this is like a Like this is very clearly we just have to we just have to power through. He's not even gonna turn into a phantom, we're just gonna fight Vivian. Yeah, he's just a dude. Wow. Let me ask you. How did the culprit bypass the toxic gas? There we go. It's Fuck. impossible to avoid the gas. He didn't. So what what are one of my things here? Um here. The culprit would surely die. Correct. Yeah. This maybe? Okay. So he would surely die, so I gotta sit on that. But that's definitely it's definitely this one. Yeah, just it takes 30, 30 minutes, minutes to kill, to kill someone. someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hold on, hold on to it. How did the culprit bypass the toxic gas chamber? Huh. It's impossible to avoid the gas. Huh. The culprit would surely die. Yes. You should already know this, right? I do. Huh. Uh huh. The gas can see through even a gas mask. Yeah. Oh, it can seat through a gas mask. Okay. 
Yeah. Once it hits you, you're done for. You die before reaching Wesco. Wrong. Uh, no you wouldn't because it takes thirty minutes. Yeah. So killing him over and over again on the fucking thing. I mean, that's that's just kind of funny. Yeah, that's rough. But um. But yeah, thirty minutes. Yeah. Pass through the toxic Literally all of the, all of the but signs. Minutes before it kills you, which means you could survive for thirty minutes. What? Don't tell me. There are no gas masks here that can block this toxic gas, and no fortes that can nullify it. There's only one way you could get through it. You do nothing. You endure it in hopes of Amapel taking you to the next room. Then the culprit didn't do anything to counteract it and just pass through the toxic gas? It's the only I knew they were gonna die. Sense. This is the truth. I can't believe it, but if the culprit really did just endure the toxic gas, then they the culprit, the culprit, is... Yeah. It appears you finally glimpsed the truth. Well, how does it feel to have your world shattered <sighs> before your eyes? Isn't this I mean, what you wanted? How much did I care about the chief in reality? Yeah. Yomi's mystery phantom and Fifia are both right. Subconsciously, I didn't want to know the truth. Huh? Up until now, the mystery labyrinth was withholding the mysteries that led to the culprit. And that's because it's a reflection of my own reluctance. Master, what's wrong? Do you know who the culprit is? It's the hitman, right? <sighs> the truth is... Whoa, he is Sephiroth! Jesus Christ. Nothing has less value in this isolated rainy city. No one. I mean, wants yeah, the considering truth. you're running it. Not even you. <laughs> now, right away and die right here. No one will get in my way. Kanaward, Amaterasu, they both belong to me. All right, man, chill out. Chill the fuck out, guy. Damn, this Man. this be this be this, an interwoven. This, this, yeah, this is crazy. If the culprit carried out the crime, of I'm the mystery phantom, and this is my best friend Vivia. Then they should be dead yep. from the toxic gas. Whoa! But no one at the scene has died from poison. Ow. Because he got stabbed. You understand that much. What are you still doing here? Damn it, what the fuck? I can't fucking You're right that no one in that lab died from that toxic. I do gas. fucking oh, but that was part of the culprit's plan from the beginning. They planned to distort the facts of their death. You must. Yes. Are you sure you want to face the truth? I mean Your world you'd already know it, so apart. So he intended on getting stabbed then. Yes. That wasn't I just believe, a coincidence. I, yeah, no, I believe he worked with Fink. And that's why we ended up getting the letter, the death threat. Yeah. Okay. Your deduction is wrong. <laughs> Don't disturb the peace. What? It's Sorry, I don't have the energy to do the thing right now. Is this the best you can do to refute it? Just give up and die! No. No! No! I don't wanna! I'm a pal of the Hitman. It's neither. Bro, pal of the Hitman. Yes, I'll expose the truth! Cuz... Bitch yeah, behind yeah. us thinks we're, it was we're the trying. Hitman. Yeah, bitch, bitch wants it. Presented their death by using the hitman. Yeah. I think they, cause that that was the thing. I'm not entirely unconvinced the chief didn't stab himself. 
Because we don't know where his wound was. I'm only thinking what, like, he could have worked with the hitman because of that guy that went around the corner. Yeah, but we have nothing to explain that away. That could have just been some dude. So they used the hitman to cover up their own death. Use the hitman? We have nothing about him. Meaning, the hitman wasn't hired to assassinate the doctor. They were hired to... He was hired to assassinate... Yeah. Yes. Huh? Yep. Yeah. Just gave him a knife. He just gave him the knife. Yep. The story of Fink the Slaughter. He's just like, yo, help me out here. <laughs> give, give me one of the knives. Nah, we leave it alone until we receive further orders. Did you see the knife stuck in his back? It's the one that Fink the Slaughter artist uses, right? I've heard about his knives inscribed with the letter F. So it was all a ruse? The real culprit made it look like the hitman did it? Stop. Stop, 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 stop! Why do you, you care so much? Garbage. To hell with the Didn't it seem like Yomi room. knew the chief? I will let you have your way in my city! There is he just no doesn't real like culprit. us. Dr. Wesco yeah. was killed by the hitman! Why does he? Yeah, why? I mean, he gives us. He's just disturbing, disturbing the peace, if you will. He's culprit. disturbing the peace. Look into my eyes. The real culprit is. The time has finally come. Yuma, it's time for you to acknowledge what you've known all along. If the tiny crack spreads any further, the mirror will shatter, exposing the chaos of the real world. Knowing this. Will you still expose the truth? Then Nothing will change if I don't. Me your conviction. The clues pointing to the identity of the hitman's target. I know. I've known all along. Now, expose the truth. Do it. If you want to burn the world down. I mean, I don't, but I mean, I want to just discover the truth anyway, but... Nothing about burning. Defeat Yomi with a key. <laughs> what was the clue leading to the culprit? Uh... Death threat. Think the slaughter artist's knife. A doctor's notes. A section of the shell, whatever he didn't want to see what has already been disposed of. Hey, is it the photo? I think it's the photo. Okay. Maybe you can wipe away the blood. That's it. The bloodstained photo found in the hallway near the lab. There was a person pictured with a woman. That was the hitman's target. The real culprit behind this case. The blood obscured the person's face. But I know who it is. It could only be one person. It could only be... How do you know? That person in the photo is the hitman's target, and who? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's no. Stop! Don't you dare say another word. No one wants the truth. I don't we do actually. But good luck, Master. I'm always by your side, haunting you. How reassuring. Oh god, what the fuck? Oh, you can choose an option? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck is that? What the fuck? <laughs> Who is that? That is so funny. <clears throat> no way. Ain't no way. Yeah. You did it oh man. Oh, okay. nice. oh, there we go. Well, that's... I mean... Fair enough. That man absolutely has had some hidden backstory this whole time. <laughs> huh? Yoko. Hello. Good to see you, friend. Ah. Ah. So he was a good guy, but he just wanted revenge. 
Yeah, and yeah. Man, this is. Huh? They're going Why? all in. Why is Fuzzhead here? Chief Yako was the only person attacked by the hitman in the lab. In other words, the chief was the hitman's target. But Chief Yako tried to hide that photo by tossing it behind the houseplant. He hid it knowing it'd be an important clue. And that's because the person in the photo is Chief Yako himself. It was given to the hitman so he'd know his target. And the chief tried to conceal it. Which means the blood covering the face on the photo was likely done on purpose. Uh, hold on, Master! Uh, are you serious? You're really saying Fuzzhead is the culprit? <laughs> we wouldn't be We wouldn't be here if it wasn't legit. Murder? He's knocking on Death's door just for this? I don't want to believe it either. But there's no one knocking way. on heaven door. Battle with Vivia. The anemic vampire oh is going to throw questions at you to send back. Throw crash you back to back. Press the correct button when you think you've got the correct answer. You'll take damage if you avoid all assailing assaults. Okay. Uh, why did Yako send a death threat to make it seem like the doctor was in danger? Um, well, that. Thank you for giving us, I think, yeah, I the guess answer. So. I think that's right. <laughs> Maybe there's a few. The phantom vanished. The truth has been mostly exposed. And the labyrinth cannot function much longer. Anything I do now might not matter. But I'll do it anyway. Check out my box cutter. Because it's something. That's a fucking huge box cutter. While the chief takes his final breaths. Vivia. Yuma. If Chief Yako is the culprit, then what about that death threat? Why would the Chief send it if he was the killer? Well, just as the tutorial said. Answer me. To make it. I don't know if that's the right answer, though. Yeah. It's not. No? Mm -mm. It's not that either. <laughs> nope, that's wasn't that either. The reason. Okay. I feel like it I is to make it seem like the doctor was in danger. Because... Then, Why would was the he trying to lure the doctor it? out? Maybe I don't know. If he was the killer, answer me. I don't know. It's you tricky. Are. I mean, it could it could be that. Let's try it. <laughs> yep. Because maybe yeah, okay. that would imply that he was trying to lure him out by sending that note. Everyone would believe the doctor's life was in danger. So it wasn't to get him to believe it, it was to get everybody else to believe it. Which was necessary for this sequence of events to take place. All the master detectives headed to the secret lab because of And we had thing. to have Fubuki had uh, to be there. Chief Yako brought yeah. them to take advantage of their abilities and murder the doctor. Huh? Right. But the death threat wasn't sent just to the detectives. The peacekeepers received it too. What was the It was so that, that he could get him on a diversion. Why put them on high alert? What is the truth behind it all? Why was the death threat sent to the peacekeepers? Nope. To use the disguise ability? To incite chaos. Oh, I thought that was going to be it, because I think it was... I think... Because but the reason... Because the he went off by himself just to, the detectives. to cause a distraction. The peacekeepers received it too. Oh, and that's I wasn't how there he for that. got away. What yeah, no, he. that's why he, he got away. Oh, I put them on um, alert. 
Like, when he, when he was gone during the time of the murder, he was like, I'll distract them. You guys go to the scene of the... You guys go get the doctor. And that's how we, we assumed he was gone. And he also said, GG. wait three... He, he also said, wait three minutes. Fuck. Did you use the disguise ability at any point? No, we didn't. Then what is the to use the disguise oh, ability also for? Just to the no, I think that is right actually, the because they came in as peacekeepers. Too. But he did he. What was the point? They came in disguised Why as peacekeepers. That's probably how they got in. What is the truth? Oh yeah, no, that's how him and Desuhiko got in. Yeah, it's weird because so, Desuhiko uh, said it wasn't the ability though. Desuhiko specifically said he didn't use his ability. Oh. Yeah. I'm not sure then. The but it worked. The no, it worked. It's because definitely that. They were also part of the plan. When the peacekeepers received the note, they dispatched a lot of their Because he shouldn't have been scene. able to share it. He shouldn't like Oh yeah, know. no, you're right, because he can only share yeah. it with us because we hold hands. Yeah. He shouldn't have been able to share it, but I guess it was because like Using the disguise ability is a misleading way to put it. It should have just been to come in in disguise the to infiltrate. Were able to take advantage of the commotion to enter the facility. That was probably yeah. did it by disguise. Yeah, it was just poorly worded. As peacekeepers. Yeah, okay, that was probably just to try and throw you off a bit. Around if you want to get into the lab disguised as one. This is why the peacekeepers also received the death threat. <sighs> right. Hey. You still want to do this? It's not too late to give up. I am well aware of the danger. I haven't gotten this much exercise in a long time. <laughs> this is something I must do. I can't leave the chief like this. Vivia. <clears throat> Let's continue, Yuma. So, everyone disguised themselves as peacekeepers. And entered the lab. Weren't you among you them? Were already at the lab, and that's where you met up with the chief, right? Yes, but we decided to split up after the blackout occurred. Wait, wait! That blackout should have caused a commotion. If we leave now, the peacekeepers will see it. I knew it. This place is crawling with them. What do we do? I'll draw their attention to buy some time. In the meantime, you two hurry to that doctor. The chief said he'd buy us some time, but he actually went and hid inside the airlock. Ah. Uh. Was the blackout part of the plan? So the one who caused it. Was that also the chief? No, I don't believe it was. No, couldn't have been him. No. Nope. No. Fink. Okay. So yeah, he hired Fink to kill him. The chief oh, he killed was with the, me the doctor. In the security room at the time of the blackout. It's impossible for him to have caused it. So the only person it could be is the hitman. It must have been part of the job. He instructed the hitman to cause a blackout at a specific time. But why? It made us think the doctor was in danger, so we'd go check on him. We used Amapel and Fortes to get through the tight security system. Chief Yako had it all planned out from the start. He used us to break through the security so he could kill the doctor. Man. This blows. So... Master using <laughs> Damn. and the sheltered skank's time rewinding ability at the panel chamber? That was all part of Buzzhead's plan? The only way to get past security was to use both Amapel and that forte. The chief knew we'd figure that out. I think it's more like he trusted us. He trusted that we would arrive at that conclusion. I'm counting on you both. See you later. Trust? How could this be a trust thing? He was clearly taking advantage of you all. <sighs> he gathered the master detectives. Using it was a righteous murder, or a revenge murder. murder. A right, righteous vengeance. He used you all to get away with murder. 
get away with he's about to die even if he didn't even if he, we didn't find him out he was still gonna die yeah <laughs> shut the fuck up shinigami shut the fuck up for once he took me in. I, I had lost everything. Even my memories. Sure, he may have been a little pushy at times. But still. But still. I really admired him. What did you admire about him? <laughs> so, why? Why did you do it? Seems pretty obvious to me. Is this about the woman in the picture? Chief, please tell me. Or I... There's no point in asking. That's just a mystery phantom. It's not the real Fuzzhead. Uh. Master, watch out! He's cool. Oh, he looks so young. The phantoms are a reflection of the same people in the real world, right? Which means he should hold the same thoughts. The photo behind the houseplant. I don't know what the chief was hiding, but that photo must have been dropped by the hitman after he was done with it. The chief picked it up and used his own blood to obscure the face. He knew the truth would be exposed if that photo was found. So, he hid it behind the potted plant. He left his blood on it. Almost like he wrote a dying message. But in truth, it was actually a secret he wanted to keep hidden. Man, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna figure out that man's secrets. Master, I think you know this, but to exit the mystery labyrinth, you will have to eliminate the culprit. Eliminate? He's gonna die anyway. Chief? Yeah, he's, he's by dead two anyway. different methods, two different yeah. other methods of death. Yeah, we're, so we're he's gonna put it into no his matter what. Here. After all the mysteries are solved, the chief back in the real world will die. But you saw yourself, Yuma. The chief is already knocking on death's door. Will you still bury him in the name of truth? <sighs> What choice do I have? It's either we both die or he dies. I get, I get fucking, I drown in the mystery labyrinth, and, no and he also dies. Or I trusted him from the bottom of my heart. Now I don't think you were wrong to. I have to end his life. <laughs> you know, I liked it surprisingly. The little bit of peace and quiet I found at the Nocturnal Detective Agency. Vivia, you knew the truth behind this case from the very beginning. I had a hunch. You sure seem happy about that. Because of my spectral projection, I knew the Chief had been planning something for quite some time. But I pretended not to see. I That's why he just hangs out in the fucking fireplace yeah. so, for so I mean, if long. He's, yeah, if he's asleep. That's why you threaten. He can just like eavesdrop so on everyone. He can just hang around. In the investigation. I knew you would reach the truth eventually, Yuma. But I tried my best to keep you away. Exposing the truth won't save anyone. Neither the chief, nor you. I mean... Master, you've already come this far. You've got to finish this. What will happen to the other Master Detectives if you die here? Didn't you say you wanted to expose the truth and save everyone? <sighs> Vivia, you told me that the time would come when I'd have to prove my conviction. <gasps> Why didn't I believe you? The conviction to accept the truth. No matter how cruel it may be. Now is that time, isn't it? Yes. And yet you intend to continue. If you're prepared for it. 
Hey! You better not get in Master's way again! Yuma, do you remember when the Chief Soul called out to us? Huh? Well, yeah, it wasn't that long ago. Yeah, the truth is cruel. Never in history has the truth been known to be kind. But you know what? Turning your eyes away from the truth and living a lie is harsh, too. In the end, you can never look away from the truth. As long as you live, you must face that pain. So really, what's the point of worrying so much about it? When you're lost, believe in your own heart. That way, even if things end up all wrong, at least you can stand proud. I always averted my eyes from the truth. For my own sake. My own peace and quiet. But I could never say with confidence <laughs> that I was proud of myself. <laughs> All I wanted to do was read the protector. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to read it, but he didn't finish it. All around me, oh, I saw my the life. truth. <laughs> my life is a shambles. Uh, That's why I entrust end. this to you, Yuma. It doesn't even trust what? You signed a pact with the Death God and your You shouldn't sing that truth. after referencing my book. How dare you? <laughs> Damn. I want to see That's you rough. <laughs> exposing all truth. I believe you'll be able to face it, cruel as it may be. I want to see it through to the end. It's why I followed you here. In that sense, we're accomplices. I mean, if you must bring down oh, the chief, that's nice. I will lend a hand. I won't Thank you my eyes any for longer. lending your hand to me. I too want to live with my head held high because I too am a detective. Vivia. Let's go, Vivia. What a guy. Believe in your own heart. That way, even if things end up all wrong, at least you can stand proud. I understand, Chief Yako. Thank you for everything you've done for me. I will own your submarine and swim it and shit. Go underwater. One day I'll proudly. learn to drive it. Oh shit, here we go. The double D double In interesting that, that we haven't fought the god. Like the the done the we haven't needed to go big, I guess, but the what? this is interesting. Don't we, we normally go big and kill a motherfucker? Oh, well yeah, that's the whole point. It's supposed to be different. Because this one's the chief. It's supposed to be all emotional and shit. Yeah. I'm so sad. Who is it that Dr. Huesto communicated with? It was us. It was B at this point, right? Yeah. Um, the knife, which would be... So here's where he faked it. Got through. He yoinked him with the knife. You fucking yoinked him. Oh, look at that. Look at him stab. Um. Maybe here? The armor pal. And then. Three more open. The Amaterasu Corporation would be the scene setter. Um. Secret lab. Be here, and then this is the decontamination device, which would be how he got through after the gas was leaked. Okay, wait, why are these two the same? Oh no, because he do rewind time. Uh, decontamination would be earlier than here, and then Fubuki's power. Here, rewind time. And then here would be the Fink, the Hitman, Fink, 
think the slaughter man. Bam. Dead man chief boy. My wife. I miss my wife. Where is she? I miss my wife. That's what I said earlier. The, in this case the is duba do du 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 <laughs> This incident features a sinister and meticulously detailed plot centered on the doctor. The old geezer was holed up inside a lab at Amaterasu HQ. He was a total hermit in the critical lab with a totally overkill security system. The culprit made yeah, but it was epic. beforehand to break through that system. A shut in is hard work. The human thing to do is to reintroduce him to society first. Damn. Uh, <laughs> yeah. With anyway. <laughs> with Shinigami's Who's weird commentary out of the, the way. The culprit sent a death threat to the yeah. peacekeepers, the detective agency, and the research lab. At the same time, they contracted a real hitman and had him infiltrate the research facility. They spilled the beans about Gramps being in danger to lure both the peacekeepers and the detectives to the lab. You see, Dude. the master detective's presence at the scene was an indispensable part of I the I mean, plan. the balls on him to hire the an actual hitman. Yeah. Research facility I mean, it was either that or die of poison. The hitman infiltrated the lab exactly as planned. And we arrived with Makoto at the same time. He just wanted revenge of that badly. Or disguised as peacekeepers. With the real peacekeepers rushing around, the culprit took advantage of the turmoil to sneak into the lab. But after catching up with them, the power suddenly went out, separating the culprit from the rest of the group. The blackout itself was caused by the hitman, right? And getting separated was all part of the culprit's plan. <sighs> Right. They used the blackout as an opportunity to hide in the vents in the airlock chamber. He's one acrobatic mofo. Afterwards, how do you get up there? To the critical lab to check on the doctor's condition. Fucking pulled himself just up. Just like the culprit directed us. But since that lab used a separate power supply, nothing strange had happened. This whole the doctor's in danger spiel was an act, huh? He made a fool of you, master. What a dick. What a piece of shit. <laughs> Someone attacked the doctor while we were trying to talk with him over the intercom. Or at least that's what we thought. We had to get into the doctor's lab. At that time, the old Beezer was playing games with us. And he even tried to kill you and the others with a trap. That bastard wanted to use your dead bodies. <laughs> he really got you there, master. But he didn't get me, so though. so happy about it. The Dr. Sham made the case even more confusing. Even if we tried to get to the doctor, the critical lab was guarded by tight security. The only way through was by using an armor. This shot's kind of hard. The culprit rode on it by emerging from their hiding place in the airlock vent and jumping onto the robot's head. Maybe it'll make his hair stick up better. Gas, but since it's not instantly fatal, it wasn't a problem. Next up, the panel chamber and high voltage shocks. One wrong move, and it was instant death. But then that shock escaped, and we got all the continues we could want. So we managed a perfect clear. The critical lab was finally reached. The culprit had anticipated we would get through this way. Also knew they would die over and over as a result. I mean, if they, I don't, I don't know if that's like jumped on. It's just alternate timelines. Realize what was happening. No use 
dying over spilt blood. On to the next thing. Like, how do you perceive them? Oh, yeah. And to open the door to the doctor's lab, Amapel had to reach out its arm and hit a switch. And when the door opened wide enough for a person to squeeze through, the killer snuck inside. Amapel can't follow any new commands while its arm is extended. So the culprit didn't show up on the camera. Then the culprit boom killed the old geezer using the same knife as the hitman. <laughs> he looks so grumpy. So was easy peasy. Then the murderer tried to leave the room before Amapel entered. But they knocked the robot over on the way out. <laughs> then went Fucking back karate kicked him. To wait for you and the others to go by. Oh, he was already poisoned, ah. so yeah. And found the doctor's body. The culprit used that time to get out of the vent and head for the hallway. That was when they were found by the hitman. And stabbed. They'd already been in contact with the toxic gas, so death was inevitable. However, dying by gas would expose them as the doctor's killer. So they hired the hitman to kill them, thereby concealing any involvement. Damn, this is a long story. <laughs> yeah. I guess that means the killer completely trusted in the master detective's capabilities. He knew we he could knew do it. Those powers would get them close to the doctor. But why were they willing to die to hide the crime? I can't say for certain. Well, this Was chick is definitely dead. Detective? Did he simply not want his friends to know? I mean, if she's not, that's kind of fucking stupid. I yeah. To face the truth. The culprit who murdered Dr. Weska and even included his own death in the plot. Yako Furio, it, it was you. Hmm. <laughs> I knew you'd find it, Yuma. You're such a good kid. Let me give you a noogie before I die. <laughs> <clears throat> what a twist that was. Very cool. I will expose the truth. Maybe he'll, like, kind of give us some cryptic hints about why he did it. But... why? We still have a little bit to go. Probably after this. Uh, before this resolves. I think we do. And then a cliffhanger. Whatever. Why did it have to end this way? Why didn't you tell us? Is this... Really? What you wanted? Can you even hear me? It doesn't matter who it is. Exterminating the real culprit's soul and destroying uh. the mystery labyrinth. That's why I'm here. <laughs> That's what makes you based, Master. That's what makes you goaded with the sauce. <laughs> goaded with well, the, the sauce. Star. Cody with the sauce! <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, there's still gonna there's still gonna be a fair amount of additional dialogue yeah. coming up. Yeah. And we gotta and we gotta have an epic cliffhanger before the last chapter. Oh, that's sweet. That's actually really <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow. That is that is actually like genuinely sweet. That was great.
That was nice. Well, that good, good this whole choice thing there, was great. That was really good. Mm. Like the voice acting was great. The like the 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 pacing of the mist that was great all around. Such a fucking a good twist on it. But like it was so obvious, but it's like there's emotional aspect to it. I re I really yeah. like that. Such a great like makes case three seem like a piece of fucking garbage. <laughs> Yeah, oh, fucking definitely. Yeah. Case 3 fucking sucks. Yeah. I mean, not even I hated Buzzhead. That's weird. This mystery labyrinth is falling apart slower than usual. He has lore to drop. I wonder why. We shouldn't let our guards down yet. Do you really think we're done here? Huh? Do you have all of the fragments of truth that the you The motive. Sought? If so, we could just leave. Um, some mysteries remain. No, we haven't uncovered everything yet. No, there are still some mysteries remaining. Huh? What's remaining? We have an epilogue to chapter four. Yeah, but there's still stuff to do. Directly related to this case. I don't want to leave any questions unanswered. For Chief Yako's sake, please help me, Shinigami. Oh, fine. I can't say no to you, Master. No, I can't resist helping you when you rely on me. First, we need to reveal whatever mysteries are left. That should open up a new path. Lay it all up, Master. Whee! Oh. Really? Yeah. Such a I, weird I believe one the only thing do... we have left is why. Yeah, some such a weird one to do an extra one of. Oh, it's sunset. The remaining as mystery well. is oh, Dr. Nice. Huesca's. Okay, photo. Five letters. Oh, she didn't like that. Um, Dr. Huesca's escape? No, it's five letters. It's six letters. What was the thing? Emails. I. There it is. Fuck! I fucked it up! <laughs> Boom. Right, we don't... Right, we don't know who he was communicating with, in theory. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. Okay. <laughs> that one, that shot of her ass, I was like, oh, that's just normal. I didn't even, I've seen way no, too no, much anime, gonna... anime girls for that. <laughs> no, 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 but like, all, out of all the poses she's done, it's just like, here is her ass. And I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> that was just like, okay. No, but sure. like, I was just like, I, I, I was like, that's, that's just like, completely whatever. desensitized. <laughs> yeah, I'm completely yeah. desensitized. Like, all right, whatever. Thanks, Twitter. Yuma, I'll follow you to the end until you reach the truth. Thank you. So who was that is weird. Who was his collaborator? Very bizarre. Okay. Some additional. Let's do this. That's very strange. I'd really want to know though. Do you regret this, Yuma? Be lying if I said I didn't. I've been thinking. Remember what the chief soul said. We just talked about this if like two seconds ago. mind while knowing who the true culprit is. Doesn't it seem like he wanted you to find the truth? Even though he was the culprit. I mean, himself. maybe he was hoping that, Why is that? we could go forth with this maybe truth and truth use it to expose Amaterasu. When the chief. Wanted us to find it. There could be some anonymous person involved. Capital A anonymous. If anonymous is part of this case, they must have a motive for killing Doctor Wesker as well. The doctor knew about the secret dealings and was planning to flee from Kanai Ward by himself. After all, could it be 
That Anonymous took advantage of Chief Yako by instigating him to commit murder. I mean, murder. maybe, but yes, it's unlikely the Chief just happened to kill Doctor. Yeah, Christ I don't. I don't think that has anything to do with it. I don't think they're directly related. That's true. Anonymous isn't just involved in the case. They could be the mastermind, the Bray Eminence. So we still got to figure out who Anonymous Bray is. Behind what? Why are you telling me that now? The case is already solved. All these crimes were committed oh. by Yako on, on his own. <laughs> on his ah! Get, Get out, out of here. here! What was that voice? Someone's trying to stop us from solving this mystery. Now we know. The master Wait, is some number one? Labyrinth. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Whatever, man. I'm not waiting for you to say all that shit. <laughs> yeah, nah, fuck you. We can't let this stop us. There's one more truth still hidden here. We have to find it. We need to know why the chief committed this crime. Right. We'll figure this out. Okay. Man, it's getting good now. This is like the this is building up to the cliffhanger. Cause now I'm kind of stumped. Like number one's the only person I think I don't like. We don't have an explanation for what his deal is. He's the only, like, one of the only missing pieces that'll, like, pull it, pull it all together, I think. Because he definitely has a past here. He's hit, there's hidden lore with that man. Are you gonna say something more than that? Because I gotta, I gotta repel something that's, like, worth discussing. The, I guess the it's solved one because yeah I guess so something something's not solved there's one part that's not yeah we don't we don't know why still doesn't hold up almost fucked myself on that one. I didn't come this far to be a little pussy bitch boy about it. Let's see here. Missing file photo. Okay, it's probably that. I think it's probably missing file. Yeah, he is. That's correct. I don't know about that. Well, no. True. True. Okay, so it's definitely that, but I got the wrong thingy. Okay, so I gotta hold out for that one. The lab map? It was supposed to be a top secret file, but it was hidden behind the house plant. Okay, wait, death threat. According to there's never been a case where Fig, the slaughter artist, has issued a death threat. Okay, well that's nothing connecting. Fink to nothing connecting to anonymous. What? So it's definitely that. <sighs> I 
Um, I mean, it, it, maybe it's the photo. Too sure. Think the slaughter man. I need to see what he says again. Nothing connecting Yako to Anonymous. It must be the photo. Nope. Okay, maybe it's the map. Yeah. I think it has yes. to be the map. Chief hid something in the corridor. Okay, yeah. The map. Ghost the culprit. Everything was flooded by Yako alone. He hired Fink the slaughter artist. He prepared the murder. Man, this. He even killed the So scary. Ah, fuck. So what about this anonymous? Ah, fuck! I don't know how that Man, connects him to health here than ever. I don't know how no, that I connects him to Anonymous, but Chief Yako tried to hide this profile along with that photo of himself. It was strange for him to have this in the first place. Oh, this is the link between Anonymous and the Chief. So we're assuming Anonymous is the mastermind. Yako sh uh, shouldn't have had that. But Anonymous is someone who was were doing research there previously. So he would have Anonymous would have known about it. About the map. And taken it from the justice. file. Or something along the lines. In the name of justice, I'll kill you. I still think it's number one. I think number one's the mastermind. I mean, he definitely has a past with this place that he's not, that we don't know about. <laughs> Anonymous doesn't exist. Well, you don't, you can't say that in the real world, buddy. Electrical room eyewitness. Yeah, that's fine. Strange storage key. Strange room contains confidential documents. Oh, the documents that were removed. Yeah. No, no one's brought that up. Yeah. But that does seem important. Yeah. No, that that was a solution key in the last one too. But I don't know why it's like because we don't know what was in there because it was stolen already. Um, I think the slaughter artist knife security. Matt, did did ano did anonymous tr wait? I don't know what I don't know what anonymous is or who he is, but did he take the stuff? I don't know. Well, take take the files. I don't know. Yes, that's what they're assuming. So that that's what that's why I just explained that anonymous was someone who previous who previously researched there, which is why he would have access to the map. Okay, what? Um, uh, map is pretty weak evidence. We need another clue to show the connection. Let's check the solution. There has to be a uh, lead. Uh, okay, it's definitely not that. Yako to there. I mean, and, wait. What? Right after the blackout, a silhouette passed through the shadow. The researcher claims it must have been the hitman. And that's true because we assume the hitman is the one who blacked it out. The photo. We've already used that. I don't think that's. Yeah, it's definitely it. not. I don't think it's the photo. I don't think it's the security log. I don't think it's the storage key. Because Director Yomi is the only one who has a key. Well, I, I, I... All of what he said, none of it really matters. It's just, yeah, I, need, I need to pay more attention. I have two yeah. No, that, that could be that's true. Not it. That could be true. It, the timing is what we're trying to prove. It doesn't prove a damn thing. Nothing to do with the that could be murder. it. It was blocking my path there. No, that's not true. Anyone could that's find not true. That's it. Not what? Hey. Yomi? 
floor plan the chief had was from the No, they're just floor. trying to prove that anybody. I mean, yeah, it could be Yomi. That could be the, what it, they're implying. But that room was locked. No, the silhouette looked no, like Yomi it. just then. Oh, simple. I wasn't implying it was Yomi. Just the, the silhouette looked like Yomi for a minute. So, well, yeah, but I'm thinking. Yeah, the only person who could have gotten it is Peacekeeper Director Yomi. Oh, wait, no, it is actually him. Yeah. The fuck? This person who gave Chief Yako the floor plan and pushed him to commit murder was... Yomi. I, I knew it seemed like he knew That's the Chief. That's why... Oh. I knew it. That's why he was so insistent on, like, get the fuck out of here. Like, oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Strings from behind the scenes. You instigated the chief to commit murder. I never thought someone as empty as me could feel so Hell much yeah. Does that mean Yomi's gonna this die as well? First could be. Time in my life, I felt this angry. Oh yeah, I hope so. Drive the chief to murder. Answer me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling you anything, idiot. What? So what if you figured it out? Who cares? It's too late now, you pathetic ingrates. Oh, Everyone please die. died just as I planned. Right, okay. Now no one can stand in my way. No one can lay a hand on me. You should be grateful. I'm cleaning right, so up now this there's city. Like the head of the detective agency is gone, and now also the doctor, who he couldn't really control and whose research he didn't know about, is also gone. What? What did you say, Master? I hate to admit it, but Yomi's right. Ah. We can't do anything to him here. Why not? He manipulated Fuzzhead from behind the scenes, but he wasn't the one who murdered the doctor. So he has nothing to do with this in the mystery labyrinth. You can't punish Yomi. Then what can we do? He has to pay for what he did. We can't do anything. That's why I'm freaking out too. So exposing the truth would be pointless? Then why have we been seeking it all this time? The truth is meaningless. I'm in charge in Kanai Ward. I have to laugh. Who could have guessed things would go so well? Yako Furio was a pain in the ass. The only reason I kept him alive is for this moment. He didn't even realize I was manipulating him into killing the doctor for me. <laughs> How stupid can you be? <laughs> you bastard! You so made for this. We, so we just know that Yomi has a lot of fucking... Yeah, he, he, he's the guy. We gotta fuck Yeah, because it was, remember, it, it was a battle. It was like a, a power struggle between him and Makoto for who would become CEO. So he knows a lot and has been here a long time. Right. If only we had found out what he was up to sooner. We yeah, so next us. chapter is going to be us so, trying to take down Yomi. should be able to bring this memory back into the real world. I'll remember this confession. I'm not sure if it'll help, but I'll interrogate him once we return to the Beat real him up. world. It doesn't matter. I'll cover it all up. You're all nothing but scum beneath my feet. I'm untouchable. And now I'm going to dispose of you like the trash you are. <laughs> you dick fart! What a what what a comeback! Yeah, you got him. You're so you meanie. Ah, right, shit! Novels, columns, essays, all sorts of things. No preference for genre. He just raised to pass time. He also happens to have four copies of The Protector, Volume 1. Oh my god, he, his, he personally has been funding me. <laughs> what a lad. He's Thank real you. for that. He's so real. 
<clears throat> ah, shit, here we are again. Hey, hurry up! Execute these scumbags immediately. Criminals have no right. You have no right to an attorney. You will pay for this. What's with that look? Are you seriously going to defy well, me? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yes. Well, I don't care. You're all going to die now. Real bad, Master. He's serious. Wait, I know. I'll stump him by asking him to solve one of the math questions on the board. I know all about your secret dealings with Dr. Westcott. Give me a... What? Did you say something? Maybe Jesus. I'll kill the loudest one of you first. They're better than stormtroopers. You have to say. Go ahead. I can't hear you. Come on, who wants to be the first to die? Damn it. <sighs> Forget it. I guess I'll just kill oh, hell yeah. you at the same time. Okay. You gonna aim like that? Listening to a thing we say. If he was the real culprit, I'd both kill him. Wow. It's all going exactly how he wants. Solving the case didn't help anything. Goodbye. Hope you enjoy the worst nightmare of your life as you die. The only one who will be having nightmares is you. Hey, it's Makoto! I thought it was gonna be Hilara oh, Nightmare. Oh, lad, lad, you lad. I thought it was gonna be Hilara as well, back actually. To the surface. What are you doing here? Lad, well, lad, lad, lady, lad. There's something I want you to see. What do you think of this? Is that one of the <laughs> hidden fi the files? That was taken? It's like his collection of, like, Adam and Eve receipts. You bought a dildo on June 24th. <laughs> Nine inches. What do you have to say about that? Oh. Well, my girlfriend's dead. Vivi is dead. How did you get that? Most you know, by going in the door. you've been making over the years are listed here. Looks like someone's been cooking the books. You conspired with Dr. Weska and leaked Amaterasu's technology to other national enterprises. And with the money you obtained, you bribed the right people to control this uh -huh. city. Lies! You made that all up! Hey! I don't care if he is the CEO. Arrest this masked freak! We can't let this outsider barge in here and take control of this city! Capture him! Execute him! Chop his head off! Crush his skull! That's not how it works, buddy. What's wrong? Why are you just standing Well, then you there? do something about it, idiot. If you're scared, then I'll offer a bounty! Whoever kills him gets 100 million shin! You're the leader, you kill him. Won't you obey me? He's using false information to tear the peacekeepers apart. You want that? You'll all be out of a job. Kanae Ward is better off without people like him. This city's fallen into ruin ever since he showed up. Now follow my orders. This city doesn't belong to him. It belongs to me, the great Yumi. I'm sorry. What the fuck? This city what the fuck? To anyone. What the fuck? Martina, She's life. back? Makoto stopped the execution oh. order you issued. I am here today, thanks to <laughs> And him. now we are fucking- Let's go! And now we are fucking instead. <laughs> Martina is right. Kanai Ward belongs to everyone who lives here. It doesn't belong to you! <laughs> Shirigami? Probably best to stay quiet and watch for now. Yeah. So, you're on that freak side now. Well, what, what did you expect? You ordered to have her killed. Yeah, with the dumb bitch. Director Yomi, there's something I'd like to say to you. Your dick is small. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to consult with a lawyer. What? Your reign is over, Yomi Hell Smile. Now, everyone, arrest the offending suspect. Please, do not be too rough. Even criminals have rights. When did our judicial system become... <laughs> They're actually... 
Yeah, when did our judicial system become they're, they're, just? But, but they're doing it properly. They're, they're saying he yeah, does exactly. have rights. Like that. Yeah. Smile, we'll be and back. I'll, I'll kill you when you do. And when I am, I'll kill you! I'll rip you to pieces for taking everything from me! You're all dead. What did I'll you even want? Just the money? And then to, like, have the control? You're the, just a control the freak? The power over the city, like... I'm assuming yeah, you but must to do what? Fucking As we discussed before, upon receiving the Fuck knows, mate. <laughs> I hereby resign from my role in the Peacekeepers. You don't have to. I must. This Instead, I will be taking a new role as, as your goddess. mistress. Well, <laughs> Chief Executive Makoto, I hope you will see to the rest. Go live a... Go be less of a bitch. Sorry I don't for know. causing so much trouble. That should settle things for now. Um, what's going on? Vivi's well, slave is fine. Had their hands full with the lab incident. I snuck into Yomi's room Hell and yeah. looked around. And there, I found this phone. Uh. It's all thanks to you. Don't tell me. You meant to bring us here to be a decoy from the start? It was all just a series of coincidences. <sighs> Looks like I wasn't able to die. Once oh, again. bummer! Wow, well, fuck. These things work now. That was really dangerous. Damn. Man, what a fucking roller coaster. <laughs> that 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 was a yeah. That literally made chapter three look like a fucking footnote. Yeah. Like that was just. That was crazy. <laughs> With Yomi gone, there's a change in the winds of Kanai Ward. Even through the endless downpour, I will rebuild this city from the ground up. Because I love this city. So that's weird. Well. It seems like all the problems have been, all the big problems have been solved. But there's still a bunch of secrets we don't know. By the way, how did your investigation at the secret lab go? Yeah. Hmm. What is the target so gonna be for the last chapter? No, I didn't find anything. Maybe homunculi are just rumors, but let me know if you'd still like help in your search. If it's within my power, I'll permit you detectives to search anywhere in Kanai Ward. Thanks. I mean, can you just do that? Can you I just like make going. that? You should can return you do to that your friends right now. I'm sure they're worried about you. Plus, you need to tell everyone what happened to Fuzzhead. Oh, one more thing. A I music box. For you, my friend, to express An my engagement gratitude. ring? A gift? Kanai Ward will be reborn, thanks to you. I haven't done anything. No, that's not true. Please, accept the gift. We're friends, A bomb. aren't we? Oh, yeah. but don't open it yet. It's a bit of It's definitely a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> okay. it's, it's a surprise. It's Boom. Don't worry, I'm an expert at defusing them. Look, he's back. Halara, give up. All right? Don't worry about it. I saw a bunch of peacekeepers heading that way. Well, how did the investigation go? The case is closed. Closed? Really? I see. Halara probably had a suspicion that. as well. Now the chief can rest without any regrets. Rest? Wait. Do you mean the chief? Wait, you're joking, right? He passed away quite a while ago. I was hoping he would live until Yuma and the others returned. But there was nothing we could do. A while ago? Then that means he was dead before the mystery wow, really? labyrinth. <laughs> no, it can't be. Chief Yako, please tell me you're only sleeping. I will turn back time now, so please open your eyes. Stop it. There's no need to keep pestering. He did the what chief. he set out to do. <laughs> but I wish I could do something too. He's dead as a detective. You should understand that. <laughs> oh, 
so soft like a baby. I'm the baby here. I want to cry too, but. <laughs> God damn it. Set, set who the fuck down. Or was it due to the mystery labyrinth? We'll never know. <laughs> he went out a great man, I'll a murderer. Now. But he was epic. My business here is done. So cold hearted. As usual. He's like an emotionless robot. Vivia. We should head back too. With the chief. We'll bury him in his favorite place, the submarine. Bury him and <laughs> let him go down with the ship. <laughs> <laughs> It's like we it's like we dump him over the edge and it's like <laughs> it's like set off fireworks and shit. The chief loved fireworks. Give him a Viking funeral. <clears throat> we'll dump some uh meat buns with him too. They were his favorite. Throw him off the roof. <laughs> Yeet! How long are you gonna let this get you down? I know you're shocked that Buzzhead was the culprit. But you and I solved it together. So shouldn't we be celebrating? Solved it? Yes, we did learn the truth. But it didn't resolve anything. What's the point of solving something if it doesn't seem That man was dead from the beginning! In the end. We still don't know why the Chief did it. How could you even consider it solved? I understand why you're upset. Alright, I'll leave oh. you alone for now. Yuma? I thought you'd be here. Oh! Comfort me! Can I have a hug? Are you sure you should be walking around alone at this hour? I heard about Chief Yako. Hey, Yuma. Did we make a mistake? If we didn't try to find that secret lab, maybe Chief Yako would still be. I alive. mean, he definitely wouldn't have been able to commit murder, at least, at least in the way he planned to. I don't know if what we did was right or wrong, but either way. I think it would have ended so why are you all I mean like why are you mad at yourself about it like I yeah he has a, a tendency to blame himself because it's just like oh but I kill people in the mystery labyrinth but he was gonna die either yeah, way he's literally gonna die either way like I get you're upset but like you don't have to blame yourself it's just one of those things he's just a he's just a boy to tell the truth while you were at the lab, Ooh. I looked into Chief Yako's past a bit. Do you know about the woman? I was just curious. Do you remember that talk on the submarine? To me, this town is my life. My bitter past, my fun memories, they're all right here. I just wanted to protect the happiness I found within arm's reach. But it wasn't easy. It was too much for me to handle on my own. And as a result, I lost everything. I was an empty shell until you all came along. Hmm. In short, the chief lost his wife four years ago. There we go. She okay, so he was an ex-Amaterasu, but his wife was. The chief's wife? Why? Was an Amaterasu researcher? On top of that, his wife's death was declared an accident, but there seems to be more to the story. At the time, the lab's head researcher was suspected of leaking right. technological information. It was the chief's wife that blew the whistle. Mm, so Yomi uh -huh. had her removed. True. He would have been removed. But on the day before the commission came to investigate, an experiment went wrong oh. and exploded, killing her. But the day before Jesus. the commission came to investigate, wow. It's obvious that someone was trying to silence her. Yeah. Chief Yako probably suspected that too. He was conducting his own investigation. In the end, 
I don't know what conclusion he reached. That so was the doctor's fault. Who the clearly. chief wanted to protect most. It's what he meant when he said he lost everything. And the person his wife accused was Weska. Doctor Weska. Do you know who that is? A little too well, unfortunately. No. Brother. Doesn't ring a bell. How are you planning to hide this from her at this point? It's getting late. Let's head back to the detective agency. The chief's. Wait, what did he not disclose? I, I zoned out for a sec. What? Did he, he did. Just say? He's. When, uh. So Kurumi said, uh, the wife accused, uh, someone named Hueska. Do you know who that is? And Yuma said, no, I, I don't know who that is. I think oh. He actually meant for himself. Yeah, the truth is cruel. Never in history has the truth been known to be kind. But you know what? Turning your eyes away from the truth and living a lie is harsh too. In the end, you can never look away from the truth. As long as you live, you must face that pain. So really, what's the point of worrying so much about it? When you're lost, believe in your own heart. That way, even if things uh, end up all wrong, I ruined it, but that's okay. Proud. But I think he was wrong because everyone is mourning you, Chief. You were loved! Chief, I've made up my mind. No matter how I mean, cruel it may be, I will expose the truth. Surely, the city. surely nothing can be worse than that. <laughs> Damn. Oh, shit. Hey. Did you come up with this dish yourself? I've never had any. We're back. We are actually back at the Holy ramen crap. Place. Thank you. Cooking is all. Oh, you <laughs> just like some dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you Gorsh. I'm so flattered you think that way. Are you hungry? Can I make you something? You want to use that kitchen? Well, I guess I haven't eaten in a while. What? This flatty is gonna mix something dangerous. Give it a rest. Food. I suggest you stay far away. Mm -hmm. All right. What should I make? I need to cheer you up. Is only your boss that just died? Super cool guy, fluff bald, fuzz head. If I make you some chicken nuggies, you'll be fine, right? Your boss, your mentor, your friend, the guy who saved you, he's just dead. I'll make you some chicken nuggies. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> let's go! <laughs> let's, let's fucking go! Oh, go on ahead and make something in the kitchen. She seems rather considerate. She's a nice Don't girl. say that now. Don't, don't yeah. say that now. I don't like it. <laughs> She'd be more considerate uh, likewise. If you were less of a fuckwit. How are you feeling, buddy? Yuma, does light shine into your world? I'm not now, sure light would have shined in my root into my world if I hadn't obtained the truth either. I don't know. It's like you said. I feel as though the world's ended. I tried so hard to find the truth. I tried so hard and got so far. You should ask yourself that. Tomorrow, the you of tomorrow will have an Chapter answer five? for the you of today. As usual, I'm not quite sure what you mean, Vivian. <laughs> <laughs> We're so cool. What's that? It was hidden in the drawer of the chief's desk. It seems oh, like a letter from Anonymous. Anonymous? You mean Yomi? Of course, he didn't know Anonymous was Yomi. This letter mentioned the uh. truth behind his wife's death. Aha! Four years So ago. that's what instigated it. The truth? It describes how Dr. Weska conspired to murder her. The facts were laid out, cold and calculated. I wonder, how did the chief feel? Murderous, he read it? methinks. 
it's not hard to <laughs> uh, imagine. Because he had murderous intent. Desire for revenge against Dr. Wesco. By the way, this letter arrived right after I was dispatched to Kanai War. In other words, the motive and means were both in the chief's hands. So he was sitting on it, waiting for people that he could trust to show up? In my ghost form. And I've seen the chief staring at this letter in secret many times. Back then, I didn't know what he was reading, but I know the chief was thinking about it constantly. Perhaps the map of the lab was sent together with this letter. If so, then it was a total setup. I'm sure the chief deeply regretted using our fortes as part of his crime. Or maybe that's just the truth I seek. Maybe it's nothing more than wishful thinking. It's okay. You might be right. I think the chief wavered back and forth the whole time. Yeah, I agree. We're cool now. Some people think Vivia is cold-hearted, but I think he cared deeply for the chief. He really did admire him. Well, I think he's terrible at showing well, it. Yeah. He needs to work on his yeah, it is. Yeah. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't mean it's not true. By the way, Yuma, Yomi definitely was the mastermind who worked in the shadows to put this together. With that aside, there's one more person I'm curious oh. about. You mean Makoto Kagutsuchi? I know. Do you think it was a coincidence he no. came to the lab today? No. I'm yeah. curious about you. <laughs> Take your shirt off. <laughs> no, no, that's not it's what I, that is not at all oh, what I was implying. Go back inside. <laughs> I think somehow. Coco Head is gonna get wrapped back in somehow with like his forgotten memories Correct. and everything. Somehow it's gonna play a part in the finale. Obviously, of, like, yeah. There's, was, there's that uh, completely was, unsolved yeah. mystery. They wouldn't go without yeah. without explaining that. And all the thing is, all of those are connected. Yuma's lost memories are for one connected with Makoto for sure. Yeah, or the fucking number one. Because I think it's, it's, that it's both. Was it's both, I think. Because that also would explain yeah. why we would we are able to get our hands on Shinigami's book. Because we would have had to have had a connection with number one.